Why, good evening, everybody out there. No matter how big, small, happy, or sad you are, we're playing Slime Ranchers, and these cute little cuddly, squishy, whatever things from the far, 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 far range are here on your computer screen. Hello, everybody. Hello, Lorelai. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. It was Anna's birthday today, and we went out for dinner at this wonderful Japanese barbecue place that was down the road. It's called Gyu, J-Y-U, hyphen, Kaku, K-A, K-A, K as in kitten. And Gyu Kaku, nice place. We've been there a couple of times now. I kind of like hype myself up for stuff like that because I, I mean, I try not to go out to eat very much now because it costs money and money's, money's not something that comes in very easily in the world. Unless you have, like, a position that allows you to do so, and, I mean, there is. However, as they said in the Wonder Woman movie, life is good, but it could be better. And, as for many things, it could indeed be better. Hello there, chickens. Yo, Astro. Hello to you. Man, the party's just all coming together here. Hello, everybody. Oh, I don't want the roostro. No, thanks. I'm gonna leave at least a couple of y'all here, because... Daddy chicken plus mommy chicken make a baby chicken. These are not baby chickens. They're just bugs that they eat. It's the grubs. You like those grubs? I like those grubs. And I'm gonna feed some mushlimos. Y'all seem angry over there. Don't get angry. Be happy. What are you eating? Oh, there's stuff on the ground. Yeah. I'm so good. I left you with food. Aren't I such a good caretaker? I'm such a good caretaker that I don't allow you guys to starve. And if I do... I didn't mean it on purpose. Who likes meat? Y'all like meat? Who else likes meat? The magma slimes like meat. I forget who like a the cube berry. Have I figured out who like a the cube berry? Maybe. Maybe it's the big ones. Do you guys like cube berries? Diet is fruit. You like cube? Dost thou like cube? I need a slimepedia. Who like a the cube? You like a the cube? You like a the cube? You like the juice? Cuberry, indeed, indeed. Lorelai's been great. Stressier day, so just kind of chilling. Glad we're having a good time. Happy, happy birthday, happy indeed. Probably a mandatory thing, not letting them starve. You're absolutely right about that. So let's let's help with that by not letting them starve. I love how they all just glow at once. I'm glad that, by the way, anybody out there who is having a stressful day, that you take it easy. We're in the lower parts of the day now. It is 9 o'clock where I am, 9 o'clock p.m. And by that point, if you're still working on whatever it is that you're doing, maybe it's time to slow down. Y'all like meat? Y'all like meat? Eat meat. Eat meat and don't hurt me. Ah! Dang, wish setting up a three-way was easy as this game would make it out to be, actually. Three-way? A menage toi? A menage toi on the far far range? Menage toi between the phosphor slime and the magma slime and the bubble bubble slime. Do y'all three want to get together and have a party? The power of water, the power of light, and the power of magma or fire coalesce into I don't know. Suck up those ports. I want those ports. Suck the ports. Suck. Press to activate the suck. You left that rooster with two hands. Ah! <laughs> it was a sex joke. I understand now. Now I completely understand. Man, if it only was that was easy to set up. I think if I were to set up a three-way, there'd be at least two people in the mix who are not very happy about it. I'm not sure who those two people are, but I've got a pretty good idea who they might be. Only a few of them can starve. That's okay. Well, as long as we have determined that at least only a few of them can starve, then I think that is, a uh, that's okay. I think that's passable. If a couple of them die, it's fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> your, uh, your thing is to free the range, free range the slimes, and then the Largos jump around and the gardens of their preferred foods. Not recommend early game. No, I've done that before. They kind of, I mean, I didn't do that on purpose. Uh, what wound up happening is the little sky nips up there weren't there, and then the boom slimes got over here, and these hunters, like, yikes, they were everywhere. They're so cute, but they're so angry when they're not cute. What's your favorite fruit? Y'all got favorites? I don't know why I got those heartbeats there. Do I have a garden for the heartbeats? I thought I did. 
It's over here. That's the garden for the heartbeats. And I got more guys over here. What's up, everybody? A little briar hens. That's what the magma slimes like. They like the briar hens. I recall now. Excuse me. What is the... What's your favorite? You like more fruit? I think yours is the mint mango. Is it the mango or the... It's another fruit. What is the fruit? What could be the fruit? It's not mango. Melon. No, it is mango. It is mango because I previously thought it was melon. It's not the mint melons. It's something even greater. Mint mangoes. To be fair, the shape of the fruit itself is definitely more reminiscent of a mango. Uh, my mind is just silly like that. Sometimes I get a little confused. And that's okay. We can all get confused sometimes. That's a part of my daily routine to be confused about things. If I'm not ever confused about a certain thing, then I feel like I never gain the amount of motivation to overcome whatever is making me confused. Currently what confused me are the social constructs of the society. But like, that ain't too bad. You know, we, we can all get used to that, I guess, except for some who don't. And if that's the case, then I, I, we should help, help each other out. Social creatures, we should all help each other. I can't use the button offline. All these slimes love to be hopping around, especially the hunters, full of carnivorous impulses, primal to the nature of themselves. If you don't take care of them fast and don't visit them enough, then, oh no. So I do have a goal for today. I have one more type of plort that I am missing to access the temple. So I want to find the temple. The goals are the temple, to get into the temple, in which case I need rad slimes, those radiative slimes that are ever so devious and for some reason alluding, elusive to me because I, I, I don't remember where they are. And also to find more Largos so I can get more keys. Need more keys. I did a lot of progress on that temple thing last time. I managed to get pretty much all of them except for the rad slimes. I think, if I'm correct in saying, uh, first step is to find my way over to where the the temple even was, because at this point I seem to have forgotten. It's been a week or two, maybe, since I uh, played some Slime Archer. So, you're gonna have to think about that. Gotta find them, but I don't remember where. I think they're over there, maybe? Oh, I don't really know. And I forgot where the other lar Largos are. If I remembered where the Largos were, then that would probably help me out. Let's take a couple of chickens along the way. There's got to be some meat lovers out there somewhere. Meat lovers pizzas. You don't. No, don't. You know what? Do. You know what? You guys can all get all three wet. Oh, okay. You didn't. Good. Well, don't eat anything else. Don't do that. We don't like three ways of the slimes because then they get all tarry. Apparently, that type of polygamy does not treat a slime very well. It's been one week since you played Slime Rancher. This is, this is true. Probably around that number. No, don't come there. Don't have a minute. Click the wrong button. Click the wrong button. I want my Q berries. I want my Q berries. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go explore. We're gonna try to see where them rad slimes are. I remember the first time I played through this game, I very, very quickly found the rad slimes. And now I'm just like, <laughs> where are you, my radiative fellow friends? My slimy radiative friends? It's a shame they don't have the equivalent of, like, a Geiger counter in this game. Otherwise, I feel like that would be pretty useful to have. I want to say... Okay, so I'm definitely in the right area for the temple, because everything got all greeny, and if things are greeny, then that's good. And if I head out in one of these directions, which direction I'm not so sure? What about that way? I don't remember. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've remembered. There's a map on here somewhere. Where the map at? Where the map? Click button. Slimepedia? Nope. Where's... World. Nope. What button? What button? Down? That one? That one? Yeah, that's the one. It's, uh, for the controller, it's, it's that one. It's the right on the D-pad. Temple. Temple? So, maybe it's not over there. I have not been there. I should go to the east, a place where I have yet to be. So, turn around and go the other way. Oh my goodness, look at that! There's a crevice in the wall! I don't think I ever noticed that crevice. No, go up there. No. Okay. That's fine. I have a way to resolve this. I'm just going to go back up to wherever. Well, oh my God. There's a little counter for hall. Was that added recently? I don't recall there ever being a count, like a, a marker for that. That's pretty cool. That's really convenient. That is going to help me. I get very lost in these situations. 
both, lo both lost in my thoughts and lost in the world around me. The wonders of the range which is far and wide. Okay, I can, can I make that? Can I make that? <gasps> I did it. More treasure pods. I can't do anything with those yet. That's fine, I'll figure it out. I wonder if there's anything up there. If I jump and then I jump again, explore, explore, go forth. Yes, yes. Now, what do I find up here? I've been over there before. What about if I go over this little ledge here? It's so nice up here. Oh, look, temple. Uh, no, this isn't temple. What is this? No, yeah, it's it's way too temple. This is way too temple. Okay. So this is why it's not marked on the map. It's not marked on the map because I really... There's probably the point for this map somewhere in there. But I wonder about the point for the map somewhere over there. So if I go down to the other way, right? What am I missing? I'm missing the greenie. I'm missing the green one. That's all it requires, the green one. Oh, that's why I couldn't go over there. Because I need the key. All right. Time to find the Largos. The Slimepedia should give the names for the locations. Not that you remember them very well. Did I see in the slime designs for the sequel plan for that? I, I watched the most recent, uh, or maybe it wasn't the most recent trailer. I watched the trailer for Slime Rancher 2 about like a week ago, maybe. It was before my last stream of Slime Rancher 1. And I got I got so excited about it. Because I'm like, I love Slime Rancher. I did not game, give this game enough attention for there to be a Slime Rancher 2. Like, let me play this game more to warrant there being a second game for me to play. So that's that's one of the that's one of the goals. That's one of the goals. Before I go on my vacation, which is vacation for those who don't speak gibberish, um, I wanted to give a little love to the games I haven't played, uh, I haven't given enough love to. When I get out of the shower, do I dry off my elbows? So, allow me to give an illustration. When I get out of the shower, I do like the, I do like the, you take the, you take the shower thing and you go back like this, and I get myself wrapped up in it and I kind of rub all around, so, yes. I would say, to answer that question succinctly, I do dry off my elbows. I feel like there's a joke in here to be said, but I don't know. So I'll say that my elbows and the tips of them are called weenus. The tip of my elbow is the weenus. Inside is what my mother calls the wagina. So, and supposedly if you lick someone's elbow, they don't feel it. So if you lick someone's weenus, they'll never know. At least, that's what I've been led to believe. Pogo fruits. Those pogo fruits don't look very good. Would being a living map be good or let the exploration run free? I, for, I love, I love just being able to run around and seeing things. However, now that I've got the map as a reference, that's good. Gotta find, is there a way like to, oh, how do, whoa, where, oh, that's the temple area. If I, if I take a look at my map, can I see where the Largos are? If I like zoom in, is there any way to zoom on on that? Oh, I can zoom in. Oh my God, what is this over there? Oh, that's a warp pot to home. Ah. Time to find someone who's willing to let you lick their elbow. That's the thing. You have to sneak up on them. They can't let no they can't know that you're doing it. Otherwise, they'll know. At least uh, again, this is this is what I've told. It really doesn't work. You've tried. Kazent is always good for that. It is. It is. Unless you're trying not to be caught, in which case. Now, I, I don't get me wrong. If you are licking another person for whatever reason, I think consent is absolutely key there. However, I feel that there is a certain subset of individuals who are just like, you're not supposed to tell somebody about the prank? Then it's not a prank. In which case, I level with you. I don't necessarily agree. I'm not much of a prankster myself. A trickster, yes. A prankster, not really. But then again, these are trying times. The prankster isn't who he used to be. The prankster is in like the the, uh, the like the archetype of the prankster, not me as a person who pranks. I don't like to prank too much. It just seems so disrespectful. I've never been into the, like those practical jokes shows, like like um, what's it called? Ah, eh. oh my god! I don't know why, but I thought of Green Day instead of the name of the people who do the impractical jokesters. Uh, dumbass man. What do you call them? Jackass? Jackass. It's called Jackass. Yeah, I never watched those movies. I was never really into them. Um, I'm, that's probably not the one that I'm actually thinking of. But when I think of that, that's what I, that's what I imagine. All right. So, Largo. 
Largo. I am gonna go to the area that I are currently have access to and try to find me a Largo that's gonna give me a key. Mischief requires no consent. Only if you're a god of tricksterness. Like Loki. I don't think Loki asks permission before licking people's elbows. However, I'd like to be surprised. Honestly, I have to think about it from my own perspective, right? If Loki were to lick my elbows and then tap me on the shoulder and be like, Hey, I just licked your elbow and you didn't notice. I'd be like, oh, okay. That's all right. I guess no harm, no foul. Unless like your tongue is like actually like, I, I don't know, uh, acidic. Yeah, if your tongue's acidic, then that's bad. Maybe you should ask people for giving them that your version of a kiss. I don't I don't really know. I'm not sure far, how far down this rabbit hole I really want to go. You get loose consent to be applied in an unknown future time, so they either embrace themselves forever or forget until it's too late. That's a good idea. I like that. I like that. Tongue is lava! Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me know that it's not lava anymore. I tongue is gonna get incredibly dry. How 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 can I talk like this? Not my tongue cup here. Oh, I talked to it. All right. Actually, kind of think of it. This is a really good exercise for for like actors and actresses or people who use their voice for things for things things. Huh. Anyway, ow! Okay, so I touched my tongue. It is indeed lava, and now my mouth is on fire. But once we get past that point, there's actually an interesting exercise that I remember from, like, theater classes and whatnot. If you're trying to be better with articulation, for example, you know, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, things like consonants and stuff like that, you can actually... And hold on a moment. I will do this only after jumping this big old gap here. No, just kidding. I'm not going to jump that gap. That seems dangerous. But you can put your fingers in your mouth like this and try to say words like, okay, now I'm playing Sun Lancer with my fingers and my elbows. Let's see if this is gonna work. Don't calm down. Now, all around, I don't see any Largos. There are no Largos around here. Unless, any Largos? There are no Largos. Right away, I am not motioning to shoot myself in the mouth. Notice the trigger is already down. But then apparently you take off, you take your fingers out of your mouth and all of a sudden it becomes more convenient to uh, uh, like articulate things. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. Peter Pepper, Pecka, Pecka, Pickle Peppers. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I mean, I felt it pretty easy to do before, but like to somebody who may be a little less, I guess, I wouldn't even call myself experienced, but a little less warmed up than I already am, then it might be more difficult to achieve without first sticking your finger guns in your mouth. Remember, trigger down, safety on. Don't shoot yourself in the face with anything, including your finger guns. It's dangerous. I think there's a Japanese beauty thing that makes you face like, like that as a wrinkle preventing exercise. I believe it. I believe it. I mean, I mean, I think uh, the only thing that I can think of for that is like, is like you, you scrunch your face like for like five seconds. And then you let it go and you do that a few times and then supposedly you will unlock the secret of Beauty. I don't know what the secret of beauty is, and perhaps I should be wrinkling my face more to be able to determine. I want to be able to, I want to feel that beauty. If there is beauty to be had out there, I will find it! One crinkle at a time. No, I can't see the game. So I'll do like a partial crinkle. Yeah. We'll all be beautiful together. If you'd like to join in at home, you're absolutely more than welcome to. If we all just crinkle our face together, let's do counts of five. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it counts to five. I, I counted to six. I forgot my rules already. Anyway, we will all become beautiful together if only we work diligently. All right, let me see if I can find some Largos around there. I know there was a pink Largo I already popped last week. That sounds terrible. I popped the slime. Terrible. I killed them. Oh, well. Wouldn't be the first time I've mercilessly murdered, I mean, put out of the misery of a gelatinous creature by sending them over the edge. Not sending these ones over the edge. Hey, what's going on over there? Hey, what's over there? Ooh, 
I don't know if I've been over there. I'm gonna go investigate. I was the midwife of the Larko slime. It's okay. It's okay. Just push. And by push, I mean swallow. And by swallow, I mean swallow the food that I'm giving you so you can get really, really big. Uh, insert inflation joke here. Um, and now you're good. Poof. Now you've given birth to the lack of yourself. I definitely have not been over here before. Water! Water! Here, take take this. Water. Mm, water. Mm, maybe not. Can I make this jump? I don't know if I can make that jump. Well, I'm gonna try for it anyway. Oh, that wasn't so bad. That was an easy jump. Hi, everybody! You are... Are you... Are you honey? Are you honey? You're honey. You're not... Were you a boom hunter larger or a... You're a honey hunter larger. Good. I thought you were a golden hunty lar... Hunt... Words. Golden hunter largo. Circle! Is this circle important? What if I water the circle? No? This is dangerous! I'm gonna go over here. Danger. Danger squishes. These are the slimes. They are danger squishies. I feel that this is a dangerous area. Feels pretty dangerous. Jetpack is God! Jetpack is God! Jetpack is more than God. Jetpack is everything. I need the jetpack to be able to do pretty much anything. Honestly, before I had the jetpack, I pretty much was considered handicapped for this game. I just couldn't get anywhere. Fairy rings are harmless in theory. Um, in theory. Now, if I were to break that theory for a second, how can I make fairy rings more dangerous? How did I get up here? What did I do? Hey, look at you, little cookadoo. No, get out of here. No, go, go, go. Stop booming. I did not consent to the booms. I do not want the booms. So I'm gonna go back. Can I get on top of that? No, I was gonna get on top of the mushroom. Maybe, maybe. Yes, yes. Ooh, what you did. Now, what can I see from this new vantage point? Cool. Almost as much as I did before. But a little bit more. Anything else from up here? Oh, Largos! Largos, you over here? Largos! Where is my key? I want to look for a key. What if I get up there? Can I enter upon the top of this tree? Can I stay here? I can stay here. Let's go higher. Let's see if I can go higher. Can I go higher? Nope, this is the theoretical limit. Don't fall, please. I will use the power of my jetpack to go somewhere else. But where? But where? Oh, where? Oh, where could the thing be? <gasps> Treasure pod that I still can't do anything about. Maybe if I, if I water this thing? Maybe, maybe if I throw a mango at it? No? Mm -hmm. <laughs> In the beta version of the game, Lorelei would get past so many of this. This area isn't ready yet, Barrier, by climbing the tops of the walls. I remember doing that. I definitely remember doing that. I don't know if I actually had... Yeah, maybe it was the early access. I don't know if I had access to the beta, but I'm pretty sure I played... I played this very early on. I don't know if it was early on as early access or anything like that. I, if I was, then I'm clearly very special, and I don't believe myself to be that special in that case. But I distinctly remember being able to kind of jump over things and skip entire areas because I'm like, ee I'm, I'm God with the jetpack. Anything over here? Anything on top of this little... Hello? Anything inside? Is there something inside? What's inside? Oh. It's just the surface. I don't want to be on the surface. <sighs> Stop booming, I say! It's a, it's, a ter it's a perilous time we live in. I mean, if, if, the, if the world just keeps on booming around you. Imagine for a moment, consider consider the meaning behind stop booming. Is booming just the booms of the boom slimes? Is booming like boom is in boom box? Are we licking them licks and making some sicks and other words that rhyme and don't make sense together? Or is boom like a metaphor for bombings? In which case, let the boom stop. Let the boom stop. Why did I throw the mangoes at you? I don't know why I threw the mangoes at you. No, get away. Out, 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 down. Down, puppy dog. Or not puppy dog. I think you're more foxy than anything else. What was... Oh, that was water that was coming down to this guy. I feel like the hunters are more like akin to like a fox or a cat than anything else. But we've already got tabby slimes, so it can't be cat-like. We already have cat. We already have tabby tabby cat. Can I jump from here to those mushrooms over there? I don't know how much higher I can go. Let's see. If I make my way this way to the, to the slime. Nice, nice, nice. Let me see if I can go up onto the other mushroom. Okay, and then this one. Now, what's over there? Have I already have I already been there? That's just another area. I don't know if I've been there yet. Let's see. Ooh, nice clip. Nice clip, Disney Queen. Nice. Yo, fist bump, Disney Queen. 
Yeah, I'd fist bump you. You're in the other room. But for, for the sake of keeping everybody feeling like we're all in the same place here, fist bump. Anyway, I don't think I've been over to that island. No, I definitely have been over to that island. Where be the Larios? I search for the... You know what? Are there any other areas on my map that I should be aware of? Um... Oh, you know what? There is an area that I can unlock if I have... If I use my... If I spend my monies. Spend my monies. Maybe I should save up for the lab area. Where's the, where's the range? The range... If this is where I was to cross over... That's the little thing there. If I come back over here, this is the range. This is range here. Range here. And then... Yep. If I spend the money to get access to this area, I might be able to pass through this way from the other direction. So I think what I should be doing is ranching the slime, so to speak. I don't know if that means anything else out of context, but I'm going to ranch these slimes harder than they've ever been ranched before. Yes. Legalize ranch. Yeah, I like that. Any Largos over here? I don't think I investigated this area. There's the Indigo Quarry in the cave near the early rock slime spawn stop. The Indigo Quarry in the... Oh, you're right! You're right, that's that. I think that's where the rad slimes are found. You're totally right. You're absolutely right. I'm gonna make my way back that way. You're totally right. I know exactly where you're talking about. I did go there, but I forgot about it. I think, I think that's the area. That's why. In my first playthrough, I went there first, found the rad slimes. I was happy. Those were happier times. And then I went past that area because this playthrough, I was like, oh, I've already been there. I'm going to try to find newer areas. And then I went completely around it and forgot about it. That is a very good idea. Such a good idea. That I'm going to capitalize on that idea. I am going to attempt to profit from your idea and not give you any of the credit. I came up with that idea all by myself with absolutely no help from anybody. Just kidding. We like to keep things wholesome around here. Thank you, Lorelai, for jogging my memory. Or just straight up putting it out there. I know it felt like it, ja uh, jogged, my it jogged my memory. Ja jogged my memory. It jogged my memory a little bit. It's very nicely placed. Very nicely placed hint. I like that. I like that, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I also love the way that the areas are named in this. I don't know. Indigo Quarry. It's just got that. It's got that love. There's a few different slimes to be found there. The rads are the most fun. They are fun. Fun and most fun. All right, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of this forest. Too much forest. I'm getting all these... I've been in the forest too long, and I didn't put on enough bug spray. Now the mosquitoes are biting me. I mean, it's unfortunate. A spring of water... Nope, suck up the water, please. Thank you. Okie dokie. Now I'm full up on the wawas. Water. Now that I'm filled up on Wawa, I can continue my walk towards the center of the city or back to my apartment as there's a Wawa very close by. And Wawa makes excellent sandwiches. The last time that we were at Wawa was about a week ago, I think. I think if a week ago was when Anna and I went to the game shop. I think it was. No, no, no. A week before that. Maybe. I don't exactly remember when it was. Anyway, we were walking back from the game, stop, uh, the game shop that Anna and I went to. It was a lovely little community over there. And on our way back, we were like, we haven't had dinner. Let's go to Wawa. So we went to Wawa and ordered a couple of sandwiches. And apparently, we also ordered with the sandwiches some mac and cheese. That's not the right way. That's not the right way. We ordered some chipotle mac and cheese. Not chipotle. Sriracha mac and cheese with it. They forgot the mac and cheese. So on the realization that they forgot the mac and cheese, we went up and we were just like, yo, you know, can we, can we, uh, we're missing an item. Would you mind remaking that for us? And they were like, sure, no problem. Um, they showed us two receipts and Anna pointed at one of them. I don't know what was on those receipts. I really didn't look at them. And upon those receipts, apparently the one that she pointed at was one of the sandwiches. So we got a third sandwich completely free because they were like, they thought that we said they forgot the sandwich. So we got the second sandwich. They've got the second sandwich. Second for me. There were three sandwiches total because we each got a sandwich. And they were like, no, no, actually it was the Chipotle mac, uh, Sriracha mac and cheese. And it was like, oh, my B, that's okay. And he remade it for us. Very fine gentleman behind the counter back there. We were very thankful for it. And we got mac and cheese. And I think I finished that second sandwich, my second sandwich, uh, in total third sandwich, somewhere like... I don't know. I probably finished it a couple days ago. It was sitting in the fridge for a while. The bread got a little crusty, but that's okay. I like crusty bread. Ooh, a box! I love boxes. Break. Uh, I don't really need y'all, but that's okay. Pod. Treasure pod. Open. I don't know what that does. Maybe I have to unlock the secrets of the temple first. Or maybe there's like a... 
a key thing from the reward thing. Reward thing. Uh, it, you can go to your house and you can upgrade yourself. Or re upgrade your, like, prestige with the community back on the planets of home. The legion that leads the slime brigade. I don't really know, to be perfectly honest. I don't remember. I think it's that little symbol above that blinking... That blinking envelope in the top left corner of my screen. I think they are in charge of that. I'm level two. I think you just get, like, aesthetic bonuses for that. I'm really not so... Oh! Where'd a Q-berry go? There was a Q-berry right there. What? That was weird. Despawned, I guess. Hmm. Think it's tied to how you can get house colors. Ah, probably. I know, like, one of the rewards I saw for that was, like, uh, a wind... Tur not wind turbine. Like, a little, uh... It's the thing... The object that sits on top of your roof that tells you which way the wind is blowing. That thing. Uh, I know that. Oh, I can go... This away, if I got the goods. Do I got the goods? The docks? I've never been down the docks. Silo? Maybe silo. Silo is over... Silo's over... Maybe the silo, too. Uh, what can you put in the silo? Anyways, I don't really know what's in that. I can't go that way! Ugh! Weather vane! That's the thing. It's a weather vane. You're totally right. I'm gonna see... Let's see. I need, the, I need to prioritize. I'm gonna prioritize finding the rad slimes. Gotta have the rad slimes. If I find the rad slimes, I can unlock the temple. If I unlock the temple, then I can probably find more keys on the other side. As well as that other area. That 5,000 U coin. What's the currency called in this game? They just got coins with U's on them. They're very pretty coins. I like the coins. I like things that are shiny. That gem over there? Shiny. Those coins? Shiny. The, 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 the skin... Or should we say the outermost mucous membrane of the slimes? Shiny and sticky and slimy, but also shiny. Let's go to the indigo quarry. I must find the slimes. It may not be safe over here, but that's okay. Yeah. Eee, hi, everybody. Bye, everybody. Gonna keep on. Just gonna keep on going this direction. Don't worry about it. The goal is to find the rads. If I can find the rads, then I can... No! It's locked up by the key. I need the key. Damn. All right. Well, okay. Okay. I am going to find the key. I'm going to find myself a key. After I find said key, I'm going to come back to the indigo quarry area. I am going to attempt to find a key in the dock area. Because it's a whole new world. And I have a feeling I may find... More Largos with keys over there. This is my working hypothesis. We shall see. We'll, we'll see what winds up happening. Do we think I'll be able to find a key over there? I think so. I have faith. I have faith in the process. Just trust the process. I wonder what it means that the Lucky Slabs, ha the lucky slabs have our in-universe currency in their body. Ooh. What if we, like, we kill them? to produce our currency. Or maybe they just like it so much. Maybe they just have like, it's kind of like, like, I think the same thing like with a Meowth. I think Meowths just kind of find the coins and put them on their head. Or maybe they grow like that. I don't really know. I don't want to consider the idea that there are like, like currency pieces that can grow on another organism's head that matches our currency almost exactly to the point where you may wonder about the thought that perhaps we just rip them off of their bodies to, in order for our economy to thrive uh, talk about the gold standard ouch what was the accent i gave for hobson like down south down south our view of these sea really reminds you of our greater greater purpose beatrix the sea was the first great unknown and this space and then whatever is beyond all that quick hot take here honestly think about it this way back then the ocean was perilous to cross it would take months to cross the sea and now we have planes we can get across the continents at will as of right now we're at a point in our life where to get across the the to different planets it's a month it's a month's journey and perilous dare even. I believe one day we will be able to traverse space just like we would that just like we have conquered the oceans themselves. Hot take, I know, but I firmly I have a firm belief. Not during my lifetime, I don't think. Anyway, I digress. That need to see what's around the next corner is in my bones. And since you're out there, I reckon it's in yours too. Though suppose you could also be out here because you like the fresh air. 
Uh, or do you prefer the untamed beauty of this land? Or maybe it's because you're looking to leave something far behind you, trying to outrun your past self and the sins of what came before you. Sure is the way to do it. <laughs> it doesn't get much further than this because <laughs> it's the far, far range. Get it? I get it. I understand. Look at those rings over there. That's so pretty. Was there anything to... Was there anything to... Oh. I don't believe there is anything of interest over here. Oh. Oh. I don't think there's Largos over here. I don't think there's a single key to be found over here. Ooh. Conquered the ocean stares at knowing more about space than our deep oceans, right? Fly! Almost got the fly. Did I grab the fly? There was a fly flying around my... Anyway. I did not obtain the fly. Yeah, we know more about space than we do... Or rather, the workings of space as opposed to what's out in the ocean. <gasps> rubber ducky! Oh, I am so giving this rubber duck in my puddle slimes. Excuse me, I have to go deliver this to the lovelies. <laughs> I got the ducky! I got the duck. Wait, I can't go that way. Meaning I can't go into here, which means I can't bring it back. Oh, wah, I gotta wait for the ducky. Okay, you will eventually go back to the ones that I call my 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 friends and compatriots. Not now, ducky. You can put the puddles in the water, though. This is true. I could put the puddles over there if I wanted to. Over near the dock. I could move the puddles over here. But right now, it's a little inconvenient to get over here. I will leave that ducky over there right next to the teleporter so that every single time I come over here, I will have a grim reminder of what I could be doing, such as delivering duckies to one of my favorite slimes. Okay, so there's no, there's no lime. There's no slimes. There's no Largos over here. Oh, that, that, ga that gamble did not pay off the way that I wanted it to. Hmm. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to see how much this area over here costs, because if I at least, if I gain access to here... Well, let's see, I already have access to over there, so maybe I should wrap my way around and see if I can find a way to that thing over there. Maybe, maybe? I don't know. Gotta go back in over here. There are many ways to ranch the slimes. Now, where am I? Get your barren straight. So go back that way. Go back which way? Which way that way? Am I pointing in the right direction? Yes. I want to go in that direction. If I make my way over here... Have I gone this way before? I'm pretty sure I have. Have I gone this way? Definitely. I've definitely gone this way before. I must have actually. There's because I unlocked it. Look at me making progress and not being able to find the keys that I need. There's another way to get over here. Oh, but this is if I fall down the cliff, I find over here. There's a bridge. I can go through here. Yada, yada, yada. Let's see if I can find some Largos over here. Largos, I come searching for you. Where are you? Where are you, Largos? Stop being so happy. Actually, please continue to be happy. It's a nice, it's a nice calming mechanism. Hello, you. Which Largos have I found? I wish I knew, to be honest. Oh, look, teleporter over there. What does that bring me? What does that bring me? I wonder. I found, there was the pink one. Let's see. There was the pink one. There was a phosphor one in the cave. I did that. There was a pink one also maybe in a cave. This tabby over here I did. I know the phosphor and honey off the top of your head. Oh, I don't think I found a honey Largo. What's over here? Where am I? Oh, okay. There may be hope for us yet. I have found my way over here. Lovely. Is there a way? How did I mark that one? How did I mark that? Did I do that? If I zoom in on it. No, I don't, I don't really know. Maybe, maybe there's one over here that I missed. There's definitely at least a crevice or two that I haven't been to. Maybe? Oh, you know what? The pink slime that was up on top, I think I grabbed already. Hmm. Well, I will at least give this area at least a once-over. And if I don't find one over here, I think the next thing to try to do is to find the honey slime, the, the honey Largo. Wait a minute, I've never been in here before. Oh, wait a minute. Largo? Largo? Is there a Largo? Hello? Largo? What's in here? Who's in here? Hello? I, I, I hoped so much. I hoped so much. Oh, I hoped so much. Why do I hear the tars? Why do I hear the tarms? There's no tars. No, don't tell me there's tars. It was so peaceful. The water was so soft. No, get out of here. Leave. Don't hurt people. Don't hurt me. 
Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So I followed the water only. To... Oh my God, you're dead. Oh well. Life has a way of ending itself, apparently. As time, history repeats itself. History repeats itself, and history states that things must die. Like a lemming, jumping off of a cliff, along with the rest of its herd. Did you know? Apparently, lemmings do not commit mass suicide. That was a basically a myth that came about because of the Disney film about Alaska. Alaska, they, they, they used the film of the lemmings just kind of being thrown off cliff. It looked, it filmed as if they were walking off the cliffs themselves, but they were kind of like wrangled over to a cliff and the lemmings just straight up jumped off because they had nowhere else to go. And that was Disney's doing. And Alaska, actually, if you go, if you look up lemmings mass suicide on Google, it will direct you to the Alaskan government website stating no, that lemmings do not commit mass suicide their mass uh migration does not end in them jumping off of cliffs it was a it was a myth that was portrayed by the media and then people just kind of believed it because everyone liked disney and i thought i suppose people were just like what's disney disney would never lie to me well here's the thing maybe disney doesn't try to lie to you now maybe but disney has lied to you before and uh, i'm not sure if they have I'm not sure if they've released a public apology about that or not. I don't know. Disney. Step up your game, Disney. What's over here? Oh, I can go up here. The most preformed rodent violence. Yes, indeed. The lemmings being pushed off cliffies. What's this? Well, this seems important. Maybe there was a Largo here already and I already popped it. I mean, birthed it. I mean, midwifed it. Oh. Yeah. Maybe. I'm not sure. Mouse per preform. Mouse preform. Ah, not mass preform. Mouse! It was the mouse. It was Miggy Mouse. Miggy Miggy Mouse. Miggy Mouse say lemmings must die. Underling rodents must die. You are not the mouse, therefore you have no right to live. Says Mickey Mouse, not me. I, I like creatures. Creatures are cute. Creatures and mice are cool. Anything over here? Oh look, a treasure pod. Something that I still can't open. I don't know how to open the treasure pods. Can I get up there? I feel like I can totally climb up on top of that. I am going to try to get on top of that. Yeehaw! Did I do it? Yeah! Are there any treasures up here? Maybe a Largo somewhere on the bottom of one of these rings? Anywhere? Anything? <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> oh, you almost got me there, but you can't fool me. You can't fool me once like that. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, to be perfectly honest. This is, this was meant for exploring. Can I, is this, this is definitely not something that I should have enough friction to walk on. De definitely not. Uh, let's go over here now. Oh my God. I wish finding locked pods could give you a marker to find them again easier. I would imagine so, like I can't open them now, meaning there is a good number of them that I will look at and be like, I will never know where these are again. And eventually I will figure out how to unlock them. But I don't as of right now. It would be useful. It'd be useful if Slime Rancher had like a mark like a marking system on the map. Because then, like you said, it would be easier to find them again later. Well, I have found nothing over there. So what if I go to this little thing over here? Are there any Largos on the Rockies? Any Largos on the Rocks? Largos on the Rocks? Maybe? Hobson? What do you got, Hobson? Did I already read you? Did I read your thing, Hobson? If you're reading this, you must be a naturally curious person who doesn't mind a little risk now and again. I think if we ever met, we'd get along just fine. Push time to the show. Honey Slime is on a high plateau in the jungle before the hunters. Ooh, plateau in the jungle. I'm gonna look for that. But first, I'll try to get to those rocks. I'm gonna find my way on top of those rocks. And see if there's anything special over there. I, I think I have satisfied my curiosity over here that I do not believe that there is any, um, any Largos over here that I should be aware of. Anything over here? Hello? Treasure pod? Maybe? No. It is all just disappointment. It will only ever always be disappointment. But at least we're having a good time, in which case I am totally happy. 
climbing in the game feels so satisfying. It does. I love being able to climb up to the areas and just being like, I am on top of the world! Although, you know, not really on top of the world, but it makes me feel good. Hey, look, a little rock that looks like a slime. Or maybe it's just a rock and I'm just looking too far into the world around me. Or maybe it's all a part of the conspiracy theory hiding within Slime Rancher. The numbers, the, the rocks, the boulders, what do they mean? Mason, what do they mean? I don't know. Anything over there? Nope, doesn't look like it. Just looks threatening. All right. Oh, can I get on top of that rock? <gasps> I want to get on top of that rock. If I go over here, I will have access to that rock. Or maybe if I go, if I go over there and then I go over there, I will have access to Raku. I will find a way to get on top of Raku. I do not know if there is anything to find on top of Raku. However, I have faith that I will find a way on top of Raku. First, perhaps I should explore that Raku and then use my increased distance in the air, my altitude, if you will, to get to other Raku. I will bide my time to get to that Raku and then bounce and hover my way over to that Raku. All right. Raku! Another treasure pod. That's cool. Okay. We've gotten to that Raku. Can I get higher? May I get higher? Can I get higher than this Raku? No. This does not bode well for the adventurer to be able to get upon that Raku. I'm going to try it anyway. Slowly but surely. More than halfway there. Getting to the Raku. Anything on the Raku? Raku? No! Okay. Nope. I'm dead. I've died. It's okay. I didn't mind it anyway. It'll bring me back to the, it'll bring me back to the farm. That's okay. I am, I've been knocked out. That's it. New upgrade available, heart module. I unlocked that by dying. Bye bye chickens. They're all dead now. You will never be able to experience the beauty of the menage. Victor Humphreys. Are red slimes a natural evolution or result of exposure to foreign matter? This game is sassing me. You're absolutely right it is. Duh. Power Core Mark Three now available. Oh, puddle. But I don't want to give you my slot. Oh, but you give me. Well, that's not worth it at all. What a terrible, what a terrible trade. No, I'm going to give you these three types, these 11 beautiful creatures of this planet. And you're just going to give me currency, uh, goods in the form that I could exchange for currency and whatever the hell that thing is. I decline your offer. I don't want it. I don't want it. Victor's not a br bright boy. I mean, his last name is Humphreys. <laughs> Am I right? Let's collect all this. I was gone for a little while, so I guess I should. I should try to tackle two two birds with the same stone. Two birds at once with the st with the stonage. Yeah, by feeding some of these slimes, collecting all the plories. You like roosters? I like keep the roosters here. There we go. Now we can start a four-way. Or perhaps the two of you will engage in monogamous contact with each other. You go with you, and you go with you. If I see any intermingling... Actually, you know what? You know what? what, what, what do, you go with you, and you go with you. And after you've had your fun, which shouldn't result in any sexual reproduction, then you can go with whoever you want to, and then produce more chickies for me. There we go. We like to see relationships around here. We do. Trades can unlock things beyond their direct rewards. You're telling me I could sacrifice the life of 11 of these squiggly, squishy beauties and I will obtain upgrades for myself? You're telling me I could selfishly unlock the next level of my being, transcending, if I sacrifice the life of the lives of 11? All right, here we go. Come here, you. Nope, come here. Come here. Yep, we don't need you. We're on the glo we're on the path to transcendence here. We will transcend. The power of all. We will we will transcend. Not sure how many requests it took to unlock the subplots. 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 Like one plot that can be used as two. I'm sorry, though, guys. It has to be done. Wow, you got a lot of plorties over here. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, where did the other one go? There we go. I only need one of you. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I am so sorry, but I'm not actually that sorry. No, come back here! 
No, 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 come back. Yes, don't. Don't die like that. Where's the... What are you doing over... Br bro, what are you doing? Don't. Why would you go out of your puddle like that? I must have... I must have accidentally thrown you out. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to squack you with that much... That much... Like, force. Goodness gracious. Oh. He has... He got one. Mochi's got one. Miles has got one. And so does Ogre. No. Granny and... Boop. Bob. Chickens? 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 Oh, that's not where those go. <laughs> Whoops. Goodness. Transcending slimes. I will. We will transcend. Slimes must be transcending. Alright, let's do that and then let's... Bap! Oh, that didn't do it. Uh, anyways... Actually, what am I doing? Just feed them now. Feed them now. Feed them now. Give to me the Q-berries. Bring to me the Q-berries. Take the Q-berries. Eat! Consume! Consume, my tiny flying fluorescent little lovelies! Consume and be merry, for the time of transcendence is almost upon us! Anyway, oh, I need to go get these guys over here. Sorry, y'all, it's it's time to die. I need six of you. I need six beautiful sacrifices. Who will be my sacrifices? The six of you. Lovely. As it was intended to be. And in the meantime, I know it's not your favorite, but we like booms. Here, this is what I'm going to exchange to you. I'm going to exchange to you some temporary solace from the world of horror uh, in exchange for the life of six of your friends. I think that seems like a fair trade. Not fair for you, of course. Fair for me, the one who's transcending, of course. Uh, I get some mangoes. And then I can feed those to the honeys. The honeys and the lovely. Lovelies and the honeys. Wait! I'll save the mint mangoes. I think we're portals here. I'll th we're save the mint mangoes for when I have the opportunity to find the honey, the big honey largo. Yes! What a wonderful idea! Even better an idea than transcending. Because the thing about feeding the big honey largo, the mint mangoes, doesn't have any moral consequences to it. As opposed to the, the concept of transcension. Anyway. Goodbye, Greg. Goodbye, Harold. Goodbye, Jameson. Goodbye, Michael. Goodbye, Johnny. And, uh, goodbye, Yalaquaz. Yalaquaz, you will be forever missed. Brustro. Here. Now you've got... Oh, so I guess the, uh, the fun part of the journey was already over. Hmm. The Phosphor Safe Cave has a teleport to the Indigo Quarry. Wait a minute, I have to go check that. And don't worry, tips are greatly appreciated. Otherwise, the stream would probably be... The, me making it to the place where I need to be would probably take four times as long. Two times as long, maybe. Honestly, I'm gonna give myself three times as long. I don't have a lot of faith in myself in regards to that. Let's get all these beats. Give it to the stones. Stones. Is there actually a, a teleport in there? Did I miss that? No, you know what? I probably did find that. I, I most definitely did, and probably forgot about it. At the heartbeat to the beat of the drums. Oh, I was saying that you came here with some The while you're here in my arms. Let's make the most of the night like we're gonna die young. Sorry, sometimes two to four word phrases set me off. <gasps> oh. It appears that I cannot go in that direction. Unless, unless, have I just never walked this way? I bet I've never walked this way before. Oh yeah, I have definitely not walked this way before. Oh, oh, I have to unlock it first from the other side. That's right. But what if I... I've got a sneaky devious idea. I'm gonna jump the platforms. Treasure pod! Is there anything over here? Oh, look at this! This is cute! Oh, and this is my ledge to get back up if necessary. Oh, this is scrumptious. Nice. This would be much easier to do. There's two exit caves. One has to be teleported to directly, and the other is the research lab. I figured one of them had to be in the research lab. I figured. My thought before buying the dock, because I don't exactly know what's in the research lab, and I didn't exactly know what was in the dock either, was it was either going to be a teleport point inside of the dock, or there'd be one inside the lab. Assuming, uh, my, this was my thought, the lab was more expensive. I know from somebody else playing that you can unlock crafting recipes and stuff in the in the lab, uh, research lab area. So I thought the trade-off between one would be like a teleport and more plots, 
whereas the other one would be nightlight. That's so freaking cute. I'm coming back for that eventually. I'll be back for you. And then this one, the other one would be the research lab and maybe something else. Or a Largo and re or plots or whatever it was. It didn't work out in my favor, but that's okay. However, now I will hopefully be able to find my rat slime so I can enter into the cave. That reminds me of a song called The Cave by a band called Siamese. It is a great song and the band is wonderful. And now you know. Now you can look up The Cave by Siamese. And you know what I'm going to do because I have the purpose to do so? I'm going to write that down to remind myself to post it in the music channel later. The Cave by Siamese. I post random music recommendations there. Not even just music recommendations, just shit that's on my mind. Speaking of music that's been on my mind pretty much all day, I cannot get the songs by Ninja Sex Party out of my head. It's mostly because I think about a week, a week or two, a couple weeks ago or whatever, the music videos for a song called The Mystic Crystal just came out. It is lovely. I would highly recommend it. It's such a great song and the music video is just divine. But so that was stuck in my head and also was the song Thunder and Lightning. By the way, I will preface this with the fact that these streams are never safe for kids. I have no idea what I'm going to say on here. So the song Thunder and Lightning by the band names Ninja Sex Party is about a guy who gets struck by lightning and then his balls are supposedly given the power to fight crime. One with the power to electrify, one with the strength to smash. First you see the thunder, or first you see the lightning baby and then you hear the flash. Um, anyway, great song, great song. The dock can give you back some things you lose in the ocean. Oh, or it gives you random stuff which is not good for rearranged slime safety, but the dock in general, nice. Honestly, I would have never known. I guess, I guess <laughs> the only things that I've lost in the ocean thus far are, are other slimes. I've thrown slimes into there. Hey, look, Wawa. Wawa, 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 Wawa. Bye, everybody. I'm gonna go get some red slime. Oh, can I not get up? The oh, hello. Well, you all seem dangerous. I'll take some of you guys. Oh, you're Tabby, you're Tabby Rock Boys. Your kitty cat rock boys. I like the kitty cat rock boys. Oh, you eat him, you son of a bitch! It's okay, it's fine. Oh, it seems that there's no benefit to beating him here. Oh, alrighty then. Except for fighting with y'all. Y'all are disagreeable. More hens. I need to collect more participants for the orgy. Um, is this the right way to go? No. Wait, I've been over here before? I've been over here? Have I really? Wait a minute. What, what is this area? Zoom out. Do I know about this area? Oh, this must be beyond... Oh, this must be the other side of the gate. Right? It's definitely the other side of the gate. So I'm gonna go back the other way. Yeah. Uh, the ocean cannot give back slimes. Sometimes chickens. Uh, mostly items. Items like... Like the lantern. Or like the slime things. Purple zone looks quarry-ish. That was where... That was the cave. That was the cave down there. So I think this is the quarry area. Uh, I need to go, I need to go north. Which direction is north? I need to go, oh, perhaps up this way. Is there an air? Nope. What if there's a little, oh, th no. Just, just more of y'all. Huh. Craft stuff and plots. Lanterns are weird. Yeah. I mean, I think there was only one. I've only seen one lantern so far. So if there are more lanterns, I have something to look forward to. Okay. That didn't help me. So this gives me access to over here. Maybe there's another area that I can fly to if I hang around over here. No, it doesn't look like there's another entrance into the caves over here. I need to go north. I need to go north. So I need to go north. They're made from the recipe. Oh, so there's more aesthetic things that you can get. Oh, nice, nice. I suppose that it was to imply that not only can you research things to collect more materials, like I know at least from watching somebody else play that you can research items that will like pump up materials from the ground and you can use plorts to craft things and stuff like that so i'm like vaguely familiar with the crafting system in this game um let's see and so i guess you can craft aesthetic things too which totally makes sense i wanted to get can i get up there i want to try to get up there if i can crafts is both useful and designy stuff well good because if there was a lack of aesthetic things in this game i don't know i feel like i'd get myself disappointed i mean like i i'm the kind of guy who mostly does things for the sake of utility however there are a lot of times where i'm just like you know what that looks cute it looks pretty this place is getting dull i need to spruce things up a bit and i will happily do so if given the opportunity 
But some there are some games that really don't give that opportunity, which is rather unfortunate. Aha, look at this. An upper area. This feels useful. It might not be, but it feels useful. Anybody up here? Can I go north from here? No, it doesn't seem like it. Can I go over there, though? What if... What if I do this? If I go over here, can I stay on top? Is there a... No, the walls are too high! I can see the aurora over there, and I want to touch the aurora. I want to touch the lights. I want to touch the ionized particles. I wonder... I know if you... I know if you fall through a cloud, if you hit a cloud, if you fall on top of a cloud, you will not bounce on it. You will fall right through it and probably get a little wet as you come out the other side. I wonder what happens if you pass through an aurora. Like, if you do, you'll, you'll probably, I, I don't know, there's probably not a lot of oxygen up there. Um, but would you like, yes! Sorry, I figured out something over here. I finally got into the right location. But I wonder, if you fell through an aurora, would you, like, burn? Because of all the ionized particles up there? Like, it sounds like it would be, falling through an aurora sounds painful. Falling through a cloud sounds painful if you consider the fact that you have to hit the ground at some point or something else, I suppose. Um, I don't really know. Maybe you'd get burned in a cloud if you were falling through it, because, like, drag force and stuff like that? Yeah, I'm totally making it over there. Do I see any rad slimes over here? I do not see any slimes of the rad. I don't see any radical slimes over here, but I bet there's some over there. Let's explore. Let's do it. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, yeah, this is definitely where I found the rad slimes. These crystals. These crystals are the things. Indigo quarry. Yes! Quarry! Here we go! That was a really weird way of saying that. Hobson, what do you got? I was always the happiest when I was by my lonesome. Places like this old quarry really suited me. Nice, quiet, mostly empty. So I figured that life on the far, 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 far range would suit me just as well. And well, wouldn't you just know it? I come all this way and the first person I see, well... She changed how I saw things, I guess. Quiet wasn't good anymore. I like to laugh. Hobson, did you meet your love interest here on the far, far range? Hmm. Perhaps the far, far range is not a far enough place to keep you far enough away from love. This seems dangerous. So I'm going to collect these chickens and save them, not the children. We don't need to save the children. Get out of here. Leave. Not these crystals. I cannot collect these crystals. Unfortunately, I want the crystals, but I won't get the crystals. I'm gonna go through here. Maybe. Yes, this is absolutely the area I want to be in. Oh, can I like? What is this? Whoa. Oh shit! It's my energy blast. I forgot I purchased that. <gasps> now look at you over there, looking all nice and happy. How are you, my little guy? I cannot feed you things. You're like vegetables, and I don't have any vegetables. But I will come back for you. It's. Excuse me. Oh my god, the map. Okay, it's right in the middle there. I am going to mark that. And my way of marking it is... Should I take a picture on my phone or should I just, like, trace it on a note card? No, I'm going to do my phone for now. This is where La Largo is. I know where Largo is now. There we go. If I ever want to know where Big Rocky Largo is, I know where to go. Taking note of the fact that your favorite are the heartbeats. Don't think I'll forget about that, chunk. I'll be back. I'll be back, and I'll be back with a vengeance. <gasps> e Radical slimes. Radical slimes. Yes, I found you. I'm gonna take a bunch of you guys. Come here, you. Come here. You're mine now. We're having soft tacos later. <laughs> You're my friend now. We're having soft tacos later. Just kidding. We don't really do soft tacos in this house for the most part. What you will receive in this house will be burritos. We like to eat burritos around here. So we will. Rustro, eat it! No! No, no, what are you doing? Leave. Oh, I wanted that plort. That plort was going to be mine! You've taken the plort from me. Come here, y'all. Who wants it? Who wants it? I want you. I want you, red slime. Coming to the sucky device. Why am I being irradiated? Hey, hey, what are you doing? Leave. Another one. Come here. Eee. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, oh, hey, oh. Hey, over there. I know you like meat. Eat meat. Meat! Meat! Eat it! Yes! <laughs> like that. Oh, go. Where'd, where'd you go? Where'd, where'd you go? Did I do it? Yes. Got the slime. The last time... I actually found a golden slime once, but I was just kind of stunned, and I did not know what to do, unfortunately. Rock slime, get out of here. I'm gonna take these vegetables over here. The heartbeats. The heartbeats to the beat of the... 
slime. Bouncy, 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 bouncy them. Okay, so now that I'm over here, I think the best thing for me to do is to probably go to the... No, you know what? The best thing I think for me to do is to try to find more heartbeats over here if I can. Explore a little bit, get familiar with the area. Um, and then try to fill up that Largo if I can. I might find a, another Largo around here somewhere that I can feed with the stuff that I currently have. And if I do, there might be a key in that. Then I will head back to the temple. I used to come here when I needed a good soak. It's a great way to clear your head. There's nothing quite like sitting in an area where nobody can hear you and you're sitting to yourself all quiet and getting absolutely stark naked in a pond with a bunch of slimy, slimy creatures. Sometimes I catch a puddle slime blushing because I was in there naked and I could never tell if it was because I was in my bathing suit or not. Just kidding, I was not naked. That was a wrongful assumption. I am so sorry, Hobson. I'm so sorry that I made such assumptions about you. Okay, so now, let's... Where am I going? I'm going north. I'm going farther north. There may be another Largo over here. Perchance. Or more rad slimes. I don't know how many rad slimes I can take. But we'll see. Come here, you. Come here, you. Come. Come to me. Come to me. Hen hens, come here. I will feed you to only those who are most worthy. Those who are most, worth, most worthy are... Don't exactly know. I don't know who is most worthy. It's certainly not you, pink one. No. Why did you? Oh, you did the thing. That's okay. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Give I want the money. Yeah. Come here. Come here. I will get as many rads as I can. Because why not? Whoa. Okay, I threw shit at it. Hi there. Sorry. Heartbeats. Hey, look at that. Sweet. Oh, is there one up there? Oh my god, you're so cute up there. What are you doing up there? Are you supposed to be up there? Are you a Largo? Oh, I wonder if you're a Largo. I think... Do rad slimes also eat veggies? I think they also eat veggies. Uh... I gotta fact check that one. What are you? What are you... Oh. You're just... You're just bothersome. What are you doing up there? Misleading me like that. How dare you? How dare you trick me like that? I thought we were gonna be buddies. I thought we were going to be cool, but you're just a pink one! For that, you shall suffer. So long. Oh, another one! Another Rock Gordo! They're all Rock Gordos! Now I know where two of them are. I will take note of that. I will collect all the heartbeats when I get back. There we go. So now I know where two of them are. Good. And they're both... Rockos. Rococo. They're both Rockos. Hey, look at you. Um, I'm going to collect as much of these as I can. I'd rather go after one of them as opposed to two at the same time. Distributing my forces is not a very good idea. Okay, so now I'm going to head back. I'm going to find one of these plorts. Hey, whoa, where'd you come? I don't want to be irradiated. No. No, 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 no. Bye bye. Goodbye, everybody. Let's see about heading back to the homestead. I gotta find my way back. The way that I came. How do? Hey, don't be mean. Don't be mean. Don't be mean to each other. If you're mean, that's bad. There's also a hidden type of slime in some high caves around here. Ooh. I like that. I bet they're crystal slimes. I'm taking a wild guess at that. There are, there are like some of the plorts that I see... One of them looks like they're ha they have, like, crystals coming out of them, so I assume that there is a crystal slime. And if there's any type of slime that I would expect to be out here, it would be a crystal one. Break. Yum. Uh, let's see the other way. I feel that perhaps I might have been right on the money there. Maybe. I think the only types of slimes that I do know about... Uh, going forward, crystal slimes because I kind of, I kind of had the. Oh, I found them. Eee. Hello, all. They're purple. You're so cool. I love you. Come here. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna take you before anybody else does. No one can have you but me. Oh, you here, me. They're so cool. They're so pretty looking. Oh my god, it's so great. I once came I once came here to collect crystals for a little project of mine. I was trapped here for nearly two days when those curious crystal slimes came rolling my way and started firing off those dangerous shards. Shards. 
to the point where I get stabbed in the face and impaled. I thought I was gonna kick the bucket. The crystals were for a wind chime. I bet Thora still has it hanging from her porch. Thora? Who's Thora? Hmm. Pretty but painful. Pretty but painful. That's so cool. Oh, I love it. Come here. I want you more. Thank you. Oh my god, I love discovering new things. <gasps> it's lava over here. Are there booms? Crystal booms! I don't need crystal- No, I didn't mean to throw you like that! Come back here! No, I miss you. Come here. Come back here. Be who you want to be. Barbie girl. Come back. Okay. Um, I want more of y'all if I can take it. Are there any- Any secrets to be had over here except for more of them sleems? Oh. Whoa! Okay, everybody! That's fine. We don't have to play the game that way. That's totally okay. You can do your thing. I can do my thing. I bet I lose health standing on this, right? No, apparently I'm lava-proof. A noodle one. Yum. Oh, did I get you? I don't know if I did. Oh, well. Well, that was pretty cool. I love beautifully timed moments like that where somebody says like, oh, there's a special secret over there. And you're like, oh, that's cool. That'd be cool if there was a secret. And then you stumble upon it. And you're like, yes. I, for one, get very easily excited about things like that. So I'm happy for it. Crystals live near lava. Water kills their traps because thermal shock. Ooh. Oh. So like if I... No, I don't want to do that. Water? Does, does it kill you? If I blast you with water, would you die? Not that I want to... No. Oh, you just kind of get like a little... <gasps> no! It's okay. It's fine. It's just one less. It's fine. We're fine. It'll be okay. What if I... What if I... Yeah, yeah, no. Stay away. Cool down. Nope. Just what they put on the... Oh, I see. I see. The crystals that go on the ground. They're the ones who I can change. Largo? Largo? Largo. Oh, is this... Is this a different cave? This feels like a- oh, no, same cave, same cave. I'll be back for you, buddy. Don't think I forgot. I haven't forgotten. I will never forget. How could I forget that big old happy face? Honestly, the Gordos in this game remind me of like, Happy Buddha. Happy Buddha. Like the big, big chunky Happy Buddha. That's what they remind me of. They're just, they're sitting there, they're smiling, and they've some, they've definitely achieved some sort of, some sort of form of enlightenment that I'm not a fan of. More Largos. Gordas. More of them. I require more. Or if I don't have more, I have less. And I don't want to have less. What is this? Take. Take. Get out of here. I want this onion. Bring me this onion. Give me. Onion. I wouldn't trust it. Even so less than a normal onion. Well, it's odd. I've never been the kind of person to stray away from odd things. I, for one, am rather odd myself. So I'm cool with that. And while y'all over there, um, fight, get angry, uh, I'm gonna be over here living my best life. So, have fun. Have fun being your big old tarful selves. Um, where am I headed? I'm making my way back that way. Really? There's an entrance over here too? Wait a minute, what? What? I need to go back the other way. But I don't know about this area. Oh, there's the entrance to the cave. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Aha! That was one entrance. Now I must find the other. The one that I used to get here. Where was that? That's if I keep on going that direction. Keep on going that direction. I go back through there. No. Definitely one of these. That's down that way. So if I go there and that way, maybe that'll... If I go over here... No, I don't know if I want to do that. Hmm. Gotta bust my brain open to figure out what did. Oh, there's a thing over there. That's not exactly what I had in mind. But there's always more ways to discover. Maybe I'll find another exit over here. Now I'm here. So if I go that way, I will go this way. Let's see. Have I stumbled upon something magnificent? No, I've stumbled exactly where I was before. This is exactly where- No, I don't recognize this area. Huh. Alrighty then. What if I go- That way leads me over here. A place I have not been yet. Oh! Oh. Mm. More doors. Oh, be advised. Just more doors. <laughs> Oh, bother. More doors to surpass. 
What will I get by going down here, I wonder? Anything of note down here? Yo, we found the other side of the door. Yes! Oh, more veggies! More veggies. Anything hiding around the corner? Nope, nothing hiding around the corner. What if I go over this way? Maybe somewhere else in the cave. What's over here? More crystals. And... Uh... Oh. How... But how... How get... How dumb do get back up there? Can I... Can I get... What if I climb on top of crystal? Can I climb on top of... I can climb on top of crystal. I will then use this opportunity to fire farther up on crystal. Yes, yes. Fire farther up on crystal and then make my way to the other side. Yes. And that is how I will find my way out. Maybe? Perchance? Nope, this is exactly where I was before. What if I go that way? I haven't gone that way yet. Have I gone this way? I definitely did go this way. That's what the door is. That's the door, right? This is the door. This is the door. It's gotta be the door. It's the door. Okay. So, I will then go this way. This is what I get for trying to explore the world around me. Which is good. I like explore. No, I was already there. I gotta get back. I gotta get back. Back to the future. No, there's no future here. Maybe this, I mean, this is the future. We've traveled through space. Oh, I don't know if we're humans or not, but if we're humans, we've apparently traveled through space in this reality. Get on top of these, and then I'll about to tap that, and... Oh, look at that. What's that over there? Oh, oh, oh. oh, what's over here? Wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Now, would you look at this? Now, what might be over here inside of this thingamabob? Hmm. Bring me back. Oh, well, that works. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Sweet. This is where uh, you, Lorelei, first got in the zone early, so you might be able to climb out. Man, I managed to get my way out of here. Nice. And now it's home time. I have made it back. I need places. I need a place to store my onions. Oh, hi, y'all. Hey, y'all don't seem very happy. Uh, I'll take care of you in a hot second. The hottest of seconds. I'll be back. I have things to take care of over here. Like crystal slimes in the crystal cave. Oh, perchance not. Maybe not over here. Oh, I got space in the dock. Go over to the dock. If I head on over to the dock. Oh, but I have to. Hmm. It's a lot of vacant plots of land, but they're kind of far away. But it's worth it, or else I'll lose these little guys. I'll be back for y'all. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, don't you worry, slimes. Beatrix has a plan for you. Just like, just like bide your hunger for a little bit. You'll be okay. I love my little slimes, but they gotta learn some patience. Gotta learn to just exist. Just be okay with life. Yeah, maybe your stomach is growling and perhaps you've begun digesting yourself, but really there's more to life than just food. There's more to life than that. I mean, think of... Think of concerts. Think of love and life. Think of the other things that life has to offer you, like more life. In life, you can create life. You can get your own little piece of God. But that's, that's like... I, I don't know. That's, that's a big step in life. <laughs> yes. Their plot's worth it since they're rare, and their favorite food is too, like hunters. Oh, really? Hmm... Is that the, um, let's see, now I have, now I have to check it. I don't even remember what the favorite food of either of them are, so let me check that. <laughs> Crystal gets the odd onion. Meanwhile, the hunter, the hunter. Oh, you know what? I've never actually found a regular hunter slime, have I? Oh. Interesting. Crystal slime or the rad slime? They like the oka oka. I don't think I have any oka okas. Hmm. Lucky slime. Yeah, yeah look at that. I don't think I've actually found a regular hunter slime. Oh, huh, interesting. All right, whatever. Very. Oh, right. Can't can't do that. Can I can go this way? Ha, boop. Oh, nice. Oh wait, can I? 
Oh, that just opens it up in the inventory. I thought maybe I'd be able to get something if I clicked on that button. Nah. Nah, dog. Nah, dog. All right, let's make a space for... Let's make a corral. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Let's make another corral. And then let's do a garden. Garden. We'll throw the odd onion in there. Boop. Growing the oddest of onions. Um, then we will... Let's see, how much will it be for the high walls and the net? Not that much. High walls, the nets. Do high walls and the nets. I always wind up doing that. High walls and the nets. Let's put the crystallies. Crystallies in there. Crystallies, 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 crystallies. Red slime, little red slime, little red slime. I don't know how many I should or should not put in here, but I'm sure this will be fine. It's probably fine. It's probably okay. Let's put... Um, poor collectors, 500. Auto feeders, 500. I think what I'm going to do is I care more about the rad slimes right now than the crystal slime. So I'll put the poor collector over here and the auto feeder as well as the... Actually, I'll make that money back in just a moment. So, and then auto feeder for these guys. Okas are around where you find the rads. Normal hunters spawn randomly. Oh, and, and invisibility can make them pretty hard to find. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes total sense. Mint mangoes are fruits they're definitely fruits so i need to come back with a veggie to get at least one of these slimes or actually okay uh i could just wait for one of these rat onions which are not grown yet maybe there's a little maybe maybe there's maybe the dock has dropped me off some hey look a chicken it's not what they eat but that's fine both of you eat veggies right you eat veggies and so do you you don't eat the veggies uh which is good i guess spawn in the deeper parts of the jungle randomly ah okay i just remember i found the hunter slimes already feral they must have been mixed with like the pink slimes and so i found the floor the plorts and i just kind of took them back and just I, I got the hunters on my farm like that it was just the easiest way that i could think of to do that makes sense there is no veggies around here unless i wait uh i can spend a little bit on here to make them go faster sprinkler is a little much nutrient soil uh, makes crops always yield the maximum harvest as opposed to the sprinkler, which makes them grow a little more. Nutrient soil is probably okay. Uh, you know what? I'll just I'll just go back across the portal over here. There's probably some veggies somewhere on the other side of them. I just need one of those rad plorts in order to unlock the temple. So I, I that's what I want to do. I can't go over there. We'll go back in here. The veggie around the corner. Any veggies? Carotten. Come here, Carotten. Yes. Yes. Now we'll go back and. Collect a couple of those things. I'll collect a couple of crystal plorts and a couple of uh, rad plorts. Nice! At the very least, I can now say, in the hour and a half that I've been at this, I have made progress, and that means it was totally worth it. There we go. And then, eh, one, two. There you go. Eat those. Eat those. Uh, plort collector. We'll collect the plortus. Plortus? Plorta collector? Plorta collector. Don't collect. Collect the plorts. And then I take. There are three. There should be. I love the way the rad plorts look. They look so cool. Just that that color. Give me that. And wherever the other one is. We're, um, water, guys. Water, water. Three. Aha. Gotcha. Nice. I'll be back to y'all later. After I go f unlock the secret of the temple. And bring the stony hen back and make my way through the jungle. Try to find an amber... Or, uh, amber? I keep calling them amber slimes. They're honey slimes. They are slimes of honey. That's what they are. Uh, are there any more stony hens over here? No? Okay. Well, whatever. Time to make my way back to the ranch. Going back to the ranch. Going back to the ranch. Do the ranch. Do the ranch. Running on to the ranch, gonna take this red slime, that little blurt, put it in the pot, and then go to the devil, and then I'm, I don't know, we'll Going see. To the devil? I'm gonna give it to the devil, that's correct, exactly, you heard me right, Anna, absolutely. Praise be to the devil, 666 and all that stuff, sacrifice your children. You know, do whatever you want. I, I personally don't play with Ouija boards or, uh, or the Infernal, but you can do whatever you want, really. Okay, stony hen. Y'all eat anything, so eat this. It's good for you. Okay. Uh, I only need one. So let's throw one of them right there so I don't accidentally sell it. And then that and that. That and that. Yeah. And then take that one back. Yes. Mint mango go to the honey. Uh, the, the whatever. Honey's line. Uh, let's take these 
I'm not going back to the Gordos right now, so I will just take these um, heartbeats and I will just kind of store them, I guess, where they're supposed to go, I suppose. Over here. Hi, little gal, honeys. Put them over here. Yes. Put them in there. Collect all these plorts. Collecting all those plorts, all those plorts, all those plorts. There's so many plorts. There's like 80 something plorts. Oh my god. I can hold 50 of them, I think. Yes, I can hold 50. Uh, that's good. I wonder if there's any other plorts of interest over here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Y'all got plenty of water plorts over here. Sweet. I will collect up the thingies. I will collect up your puddle plorts. I just love the con- I, I mean, I, I just really like the concept of slimes. Slimes are- slimes are cool. I like- the closest thing that I think we have to slimes in our world are like amoebas, I guess, and just cells themselves. I mean, technically a cell is a slime, right? If you- if you think about it, the- the- the, the cytoplasm inside of it is kind of- it's mostly watery. I'm sure it's gelatinous, although I'm not sure if anybody could- I, I wonder if there's a certain mathematical number out there that can give me the, like, the squishiness of cytoplasm. Like, I bet there's a number out there that, that measures, like, the squishiness of, like, jello. And I wonder if there's a number for the other ones as well. Oh, y'all needed food. That's what I was doing. I needed to give y'all hunters food for you so you don't cry like little babies. Carefully not going to try to take the rat port out. Yes, that's perfect. Yes, I like that. Let's give some of these Q-berries. There are a lot of Q-berries. Holy crap. Wowza! That's a lot of berries a cube! Okay, so I have a few Q-berries. I'm gonna throw some in there. Eat. Eat and be merry. Eat and be merry. Take like 15 of them. I don't know. Just leave them there. You'll be fine. What do you want? What do you want from me? Thora or Ogden? Ogden! Ogden's potty punch. One part poke fruit juice and one part pickle pear juice. Two parts stop by rum. Get you dancing. I like that recipe. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna take that. Starfire rum. Don't know what Starfire is, but I could probably make that into a cocktail. Pogo fruit sounds like pomegranate. Prickle pear. Prickly pear is actually something that you can juice. I like that. Um... Okay, so you want some Q-berries? I can provide that to you. One, two, three, four. Oh, only that. Cool. Cool. I could totally make that. I could use... I have plenty of rum to do. I could totally use pomegranate juice and prickly pear juice. What an interesting combination. They actually... I have seen recipes for uh, using prickly pear juice. And I have seen prickly pear at my local Whole Foods. So, there is... There is prickly pear juice out there that I would, might be able to obtain, although I don't think that I've seen them there uh, recently. I need four of these heartbeats. Oh, I need five. Nope, that was the wrong one. Four. Take that up. Eat and be visible. Chester's. Like Chester Cat. Nice. Oh, I need more of these little guys. Poo. I don't think I have any more around here. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Let me take... I'm gonna take y'all. Take some of these briar hens. Plenty of them. Briar hens, briar hens, briar hens. Briar hens. Little old dude. It's cool. Briar hens are the favorites of the moons. The moon booms. Gimme. Gimme your body. I want your body to give to other bodies. With this, we will raise the next crop of the century. Briar hens, briar hens, briar, briar, briar hens. Hey, stop exploding me. I don't appreciate that. Put them in there! Yum, 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 yum. Nummy num nums. Eat, 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 and be visible, Chester. Yes. Alright. Eat more! More, I say! That's fine, that's fine. We don't have to eat more. That's okay. I accept this. Alright! More boom floors. Chicken sounds are the same as Billy Hatcher. Are they really? No kidding! Huh. I wonder, I wonder why that's on the tip of your mind. Is it perhaps because there's a famous, famous YouTuber out there who may be doing a series on Billy Hatcher and the giant egg right now? And his main name may or may not be Lycos Lore. Lycos Lore on YouTube. Check him out. He's pretty cool. Pretty cool guy. Pretty cool guy. Pretty cool guy. I like him. He's a cool guy. Promise. Promise cool guy. Boom plorts. Or it sounds the same to your ears, but yes, indeed. I don't think... Let's see, the most recent thing that came out of Glenny Boys was... Oh, it was the Dishonored video. 
So I got almost, I, I still got like five or six minutes left of it, but it seems like he's attempting to do, is it the, it's the ghost run, right? The ghost is the one where you don't get caught at all. I think that's what it's called. And where you don't get, you never get detected and you never kill anybody. I think that's the ghost run that he's trying to accomplish. And I, I don't remember if he's accomplished that before. I want to say he has. So I think he's capable of doing it. I remember him playing um, uh, Dishonored back when we were all in high school. And uh, I, I don't think I ever really talked to talk to him too much about like what happens in the game aside from the rats. The rats, oh my god, the rats. Like they were just, you, you, could, you could summon rats with one of the abilities you could get in that game. It's crazy. And uh, apparently also as well, there's some really messed up physics with the game where if you were to take pretty much any object, right? You can grab dead bodies and pull them around. You can grab objects and kind of around and you could kill, I wanna say it was the final boss or close to final boss by whacking him with the head of somebody else. And you could you could you could beat the final boss like that. Like you just just hit him like that and he just drops dead or something similar to something like that. That's I believe I re I think I recall that. And yes, the ghost boys. Pacifist ghost is the, the preferred type to, that Glenny boy likes to play. Which I totally believe. I believe him. I know he can do it. He's done it before. I wonder. Now I got to the part. I didn't get to the part of the video where I by that by the. Excuse me. Let me collect my thoughts for a moment. The part of the video that I wound up getting to was the part where I think he had only cut twice. And I want to say there was the there were potential plans for a, a reload counter. Not a death counter, because you're trying not to die, but a counter of how many times he's had to reload the game to be able to go back to the point where he was at before. I look forward to something like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. I, I, I want to see that. One, because, you know, it's always cool to see your friends slightly suffering with what it is that they do. Uh, I like to suffer sometimes in the games that I play, and I hope that is half the enjoyment. And if it's not, then perhaps I should suffer more? No. Or maybe I should just switch content. Anyway, but I did I did enjoy discussions like that. I, think, I definitely recall uh, that the rats were definitely a thing. May excuse me, maybe killing people with the head was not. Excuse my burpage there. You know what the burp actually tasted like? You probably don't want to know, but I'm gonna let you know anyway. It tasted like a churro. Because in addition to Anna and I going out for uh, her birthday to the place known as Gyugaku, the Japanese barbecue place, which was magnificent. Um, we also stopped at this place called Bl Bueno Onda, which is a um, uh, sp Spanish or Mexican cuisine place where you can get like tacos and burritos and stuff like that. But they also serve these churros with chocolate in the middle. And they're like, oh my god, they're so good. I prefer, I think, just the regular churro as opposed to a churro with chocolate in it. However, it was kind of like... Like, if you think of an eclair, it was like an eclair, except instead of the puff pastry on the outside, it was a churro and cinnamon pastry on the outside. It was, it was great. It was great. Glenn said he's almost finished the pacifist, ghosts in the pacifist ghost runs in the past, but it's definitely fun to watch. And he's pretty good at it, too. Fun. Fun in it, but he's the one who excelled at it. So, uh, Lorelai, you, you attempted the pacifist runs as well? I feel like I don't have enough patience to be able to do that, but I've heard that there's also an achievement that you can get for doing it. And if there's an achievement to be found, everyone, I will put in the effort for it. I have been known to go to great, great lengths to unlock the achievements in a game. Now, I know at least on my Steam profile, there is only one game that has all the achievements done on there. It's just some obscure puzzle game. Um, but in the past, there's there's definitely more than one Xbox game that I've gotten all the achievements in. And I want to say, maybe save for a couple of the really hard ones, but I want to say I was able to get all the achievements in Sonic Generations when I played it on the Xbox. Uh, I could be wrong about that. And if I am, I, I apologize. But I suppose, I guess, I could just check on my Xbox Live, right? Check Xbox Live uh, if I... If, if, I'm not sure if the achievements are public or not. But I could check that. I'll have to check that later. I'm gonna write that down to check and see what games I have completed. Uh, on... On whatever. What color should I put that in? Gray's fine. Xbox 100% Gamers? I wonder. I wonder. Every once in a while, my, my... What I write on pieces of paper over here is pretty much chicken scratch. 
um, but I can kind of decode it myself later. Half the time I'll write something down and I don't exactly know what it said. And then about an hour or two later, after looking at like three, looking at it like three or four times, I will eventually decode what it was that I was trying to tell myself. We'll see. Lorelei has only done a pass, uh, only done passive at runs. Non-fatal methods on all or most targets to make sure that you get the good ending. Right. That's another one of those games where like depending on what choices you make throughout the game, it affects what ending you get. Which, I've always liked games like that. I think that really the only game that I've played, that the uh, two games that come to mind that I've played that actually have like multiple endings like that. One was Valhalla, which is a visual novel game uh, about a little bartender who works at a bar in a cyberpunk universe in a dystopian city. And the other game is... Oh my god, what was I talking about? Oh, multiple endings. Undertale, which is a game about, you know, you're a human. You fall to the realm of the monsters. And are you a good person? Are you a bad person? Are you pacifist? Are you genocide? Who knows? And that's Undertale. And I'm pretty like, there's probably other games that I've played that have, like, those other endings to them. But I can't really bring it to mind as of right now. Uh, off the top of my head. I, I, it escapes me. So let's see. If I had into here i will find the place to put the rad ports and hopefully uh somewhere in the jungle area which i think is over there is where i will find hopefully a honey slime no why'd you miss again again above what the no no please please okay i'll just i'll just come up there and shove it in your mouth i will just come up there and shove it right in your mouth there we go eat that there we go Unlock the door. Oh, Chrono Trigger. You're totally right. Chrono Trigger definitely has multiple endings. Technically. Technically, I think. No, 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 no. It definitely is. Oh my god, they're singing to me. What the? Oh my god, it's so cute. Whoa. Aww. That was so cute. I love that. And they sing for us. That is so cute. Yes, I like that. But yes, you're totally right. Chrono Trigger has multiple endings. Actually, what's funny is a part of my research for the game, Achievement Into the Past, is the fact that that was one of the first games to act, that was one of the first games to implement a multiple ending, like multiple endings, which is pretty cool. What are you? Press X to activate. X to activate. I understand the concepts around here now. I feel that there are puzzles, and I do really like me some puzzles. Love me some puzzles. What do you got for puzzles? More puzzles? <gasps> Ooh, I like the puzzles. And I click that, it goes up, which unlocks that, but I bet there's something else that I'm sacrificing, right? No, or maybe not. Oh, what is that thing? Oh, I love the puzzles. Something over here. Um, hello? Maybe if I... No? All right, what if I jump in there? Oh, they're like... <gasps> They're trees that have, they grow fruit, but they're like transparent. Interesting. Oh, really? Tar's already? Oh, cause it's nighttime. What's in there? <gasps> Carrots? Never know. What's a carrot? I don't know. It's also smaller around here. All right, so, oh, water. Water, water. Oh, who's coming out of there? What, what was, who is it? Who's, who's the, the slime? There's shit coming out of there. Now, who did that? No. Bad. Don't do that. Hobson? You've been here too, Hobson. Fascinating, aren't they? Who do you think constructed these ancient ruins and for what purpose? I'd visit this place and ponder that question often. Only one thing is for certain, these folks liked slimes. Eventually, I came to realize what this place was for, how to utilize it. Will you do the same? Maybe. There's a trick to the strange tree's fruit. <gasps> Quantum slimes! That's a type of slime that I know about already. I know about those. I That's the other type of slime that I knew about already. And I do know about quantum slimes. I wonder, do I have to send... Do I have to throw one of these quantum slimes out of them? I wonder. Quantum slimes being able to exist in apparently multiple realities at once. Glitchy boys! Oh, was that a... Oh, was that a... No, I didn't mean to throw you. Oh my god, I thought that was a plort. What do you like to eat, buddy? What do you like to... Zappy zappy? Uh, touchy touchy? Touchy touchy. Pink slime. I don't need you. Alrighty then. I like that. It's cool. Hologram. Oh. Oh, just a oh, just a, just a regular just a regular hologram, not actual. Oh, wait, but you did you move? I thought you moved. Mm, whatever. Hello. 
Oh! Oh, it went away because of the thing. Oh, pipes? Pipes! That feels like it's puzzle related. That feels puzzle related. I bet it's puzzle related. Come here! Now, I think there's a certain upgrade that I have to eventually get for the, um, for the, for the corrals in order to keep these guys in line. Quantum stabilizer means something or whatever, whatever. So I got y'all now. I don't know what I'm gonna do with y'all. Hopefully it doesn't end in disaster. Hopefully not. Let's see what else there is to find. Something about these, maybe? No. Probably not. What is the secret? What is the secret to the temple? Secrets down here. Oh, there's a little... Ah, I see that. I see that. I see more glitchy tree things. Oh, I wonder if this is the reality one. The real one. What if I throw one of you at the tree? Throw. That's fine. I thought maybe I could sacrifice one of you for the others. Nope, still can't. Still can't open the treasure pod. Absorb. Ah, chicken. Jiggy, jiggy, jiggy. Oh, I see. There's a thing there and there's a thing down there. So if I click this button over here, maybe that'll open this. Or will it open the bottom one too? It is open both of them. Aha. What could be inside it? Ah, I see, I see. And there's something in there too. So, there must be a way for me to... I wonder... Can I come over here and click another switchy? Switchy? Yes, I believe so. Aha! But it's just a treasure pod, which doesn't help me because I cannot unlock them. <clears throat> oh well. That's fine. That's fine. It's totally fine. You, these, these feel important. What if I zap? Zap? Give me that clicking charge, uh, holding charge, and then let loose. No, I don't know. Well, something's over here. Hobson! Hobson! These strange glass doors are a good reminder that you can't always have both. Hit that switch over there all you like and both doors will never be open. Sometimes you gotta choose one path or another and there's no way around it. But you know what? Either path you choose is gonna make you hurt some for want of walking the other. Life is filled with doors like these. I vibe with that, Hobson. I do. I totally vibe with that. What do we got over here? Hmm. Beets. I can use those. What do quantum slimes eat? Oh! Let's check the pedia. Let's check the Wikipedia. Sneemies? Sleemy, sleemy, snoomers? Quantum slime, you... A slime that really shows its potential. Potential energy? Heyo. Likes fruit. Favorites of the phase lemon. <gasps> that must be what those things are. They must be lemons of the phase. No, seriously, what is that for? I feel like there's... Hmm. Perhaps. Perchance. What if I... Absorb? Nope. What if I throw a slime at them? Nope. What if... I don't know. If I... Dash them with electricity. Can I switch their reality? Nope. What if I splash them with water? E nope. Okay. Well, there is apparently a trick. And I'm sure I will figure it out eventually. But for now, I'm guessing just like the regular slimes, there might be another one of them that's not out of phase or reality. Whatever. Well, that one's out. Hmm. I'm close. There must be something inside. What to do? Another blast? If I blast these ones while the fruit's on the other... Mm, I don't know about that. Alright, what do we got the looks? Not slime. Say similar to what it gives. <gasps> oh, I bet if I give the plug... Uh, I think that's the answer to my question. Here, take this. If I throw the quantum slime here... Nope. Quantum slime here. And I give him a mango. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat. Give plort. Maybe I take one of these, and then I... Maybe I sacrifice the plort to the tree, and then it will give me the fruit. I sacrifice this upon you. Go. Oh. Well, what if I throw a fruit at it? Ah! <laughs> yes! That was the secret. Nice. No, I don't want you. I want the fruit. No, I don't want you. I want the fruit. Nice. Plucked from a tree rooted in the past, the future. Hmm. Nice. Honestly, if I didn't get it that time, the equivalent exchange comment would have definitely made it very obvious. Nice, 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 nice. That was cool. That was cool. I like that. That's so creative. Ooh. 
more plot dust. No, no. Can you become a water? What, what, are, you, what are you doing? Open up for me. Open. Open, open, open. What's up with you? Oh, you just water slide. Just puddle slides. I love it. Well, I require more lemons. One, two, three, four. I can exchange them with another with lemons from another reality. Haha, <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, this is cute. This temple's big. It's a pretty big temple. Damn. Oh, there's more. There is more lemons of the face. Oh, and a map. Perfect. Uh, one, two, three, four. No, come here. No. Ah! Did you drop? One more? One more. Yay. And then the map. I can focus on map. the map. It's so wonderful. Here we go. Nice. Oh, there's a thing. What is that beacon? I want to go towards the beacon, which means I have to go this way. I don't know how to get over there. You got a little buzzy above you. What's up with that? What? What's up with that? What are you doing? You want a lemon? No, don't want a lemon. That's fine. You don't have to have a lemon. You want one of those? Boop. No. Mm -hmm. Maybe it has to be shot at with a laser. Yeah, I'm going with the laser hypothesis. You can collect the lights for decor. <gasps> what? 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 I can collect that thing? I can suck it up? Oh! 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 Oh my god! Ooh! I like that! That is so cool. What can I do with the- Whoa! Hey there, you! You are... Terrifying! I don't like- Oh, no! No, no, no! You all scary! That is freaking creepy. I'm cool with that. Oh, look! Another pipe that's spitting out water. There's a big, uh, there's a big, um, but, uh, Largo. You like... You like meat, don't you? I just gave away my last meat. Well, now, I know where you are, so I will find on the map as well where the other Largos are. I will take, I will keep track of where all these Largos are by taking pictures of the screens. Don't eat shit. Don't, don't eat shit. Don't. Please, please don't eat shit. Shit that's not yours, that is. Don't do it. It's bad. I don't have enough space. I need more inventory slots. Oh, that's water. Okay. Some stuff going on down here. A lot of phasing in and out of reality going on over here. You guys could probably chill. I'm gonna take all these lemons. Take all these lemons back with me. Yep, a lot of stuff going on around here. Yo, yeah. Lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of. Come here. Yes. Come inside. Oh, step inside, walk this way, me and the slimes, babe. Yeah, yeah. Love that. In the older versions, you could put them around a boom gore, uh, gore, Gordon, Gordon, Gor, Gorga, Gor, Gorda, Gorda. That's the one. Make explode, and it would send the lights out in a big firework that would leave them in a big dome based on the explosion. Damn, that's pretty cool. But that was in the older versions, unfortunately, I suppose. Which way am I headed? I'm heading down that way, which means I want to head over here. Maybe? By chance, really? Pop, actually. And if I go up this way... Okay. Heading north, that's what I want to do. Heading northbound on I-95. You may encounter bad weather. Potentially. Uh, there's something else up there. Looks like a tree. I believe it's a tree. What's over here? What have I found? What does that sound? I see- I hear Tars. I feel like I should be putting a slime over here. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Gifts of them are very cool. <laughs> but it- what? It's been patched since this meant booms could easily mess up designs. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I suppose so. Ah, I gotta look for a gif of that later. I definitely got to. If you have a gif on that on hand, feel free to pop that in chat. Like the link to it. Because then I will wind up- I will have an immediate reference for later. Cool. Definitely see the boom slimes. Boom slimes in the in the in the what we call we love that. I love the cute little light thing. And apparently there's more. Oh, there's red echoes on the ceiling, I realize. I just realized those things that I kept seeing were red echoes on the ceiling. Got some more of these thingies. Oh, hello over there. Oh, hello there. Where am I? I'm up north. I'm getting closer. Maybe. Secret to the temple. I love this. I just love how like it feels so larger than life. And so and for that reason it just feels like so peaceful. 
Oh my god, it's a little oasis down here. Well, that's cute. I bet I gotta go down here. I turn this thing off, only to push that down there, only to want to find my way back up to the top. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. I hope you'll have a wonderful time. Don't get all crazy, okay? <laughs> okay. We don't have to get all crazy over here. I guess the puzzle, I mean, from what I can tell, the puzzles don't seem to be that difficult so far. Not that bad. Not that bad. Oh, I can't go over there, but I can fly my way into over there. Or I can come on up here for other entrances. There's so many secrets to find, it seems. Awesome. What is that? Oh, another tree. Nice. But I want to know. That, I'm guessing, is a portal back to the range. If I had to think. Yeah, that looks like it'll go back to the range. I don't want to do that just yet. I want to see what's on the laser on the other side. Is there perhaps another puzzle that I have to unlock in order to find the secret? I am, I am there. Oh no, I have to go a little farther. Maybe it's a way to travel to other worlds. Maybe that's the secret. Oh, come on! That's fine. I'll find a key eventually, and I will come back here, and I will unlock the secrets of the cave. The laser. The big old giant laser beam. God, there's so many key. There's so many places. There's so many Gordos. I can work on the Gordos now, at least, because I know where at least four of them are. Uh, not except for the, uh, the, the honey one I did not find. Um, but yeah, let's go back to the range. That was pretty cool. Now, what can I, I... I guess I can use this for decoration. Here, put it there. There we go. That's cute. I like that. Hopefully you stay there. Stay there. Yeah, that's cool looking. That's cute. I like those. Now I need another corral for my phase lemons. And I need a place for the... Come to think of it. How do I stop a quantum slime from escaping? How would you do that? Because they're just going to get out of... They're just going to get out of the corral. Right? That's that's what's going to wind up happening. I'm going to collect these heartbeats for later. I'm going to go try to find those gordos. What the hey hey? So what are you doing about that? All right, how much does a lab cost? I know there's more plots over there. 10,000. Well, I'm ha almost halfway there. These phase lemons... I can open up another... Um, open up another farm area over the dock. Or, you know what? Maybe... Okay, there's more areas over here. I should unlock this first. Right? How much is that? Yes. I will unlock that. Now I have areas for my quantum slimes. Hopefully. That's an area to go elsewhere. Um, more areas. So let's go over here. Let's make a little garden for the phase lemons. Boop. Phase lemons. Liking that. And then corrals. Only sometimes do they escape from those corrals. But yeah, they're part of why I give it up on the corrals when you first have the farm zones. Yeah, this is... This seems like it's going to be a toughie. Um, but I guess what I'll do is I will put the corral here. Give it as much love as possible. Give it the air nets. With the high walls. Uh, in case in dim shade, protecting slime sensitive to light. I don't think these things are sensitive to light. Plurk collector. Let's put the auto feeder in there. And the music box as well. So they're not as likely to want to get the hell out of it. So auto feeder with the phase limon. Uh, well, I mean, I'll throw all my quantum slimes in there now. I'll get more phase limons later. Hopefully it'll not wind up glitching out of the universe. Here, eat. Eat and be merry. And for this... I don't know. That's that's good. That's good shit, you know? Mm -mm, tasty. Mm, tasty. Mm, phase lemons. Oh, yes. Eat, eat, eat that. Eat, eat that. Somebody eat that one. Somebody somebody eat that? Yes. Somebody eat that? Eat, eat. There we go. Yeah. Give me your plorts. Give me your plorts. Nope. No, please don't phase out of there. Stop. No, that's just a hologram. If I phase the... Water? Water? Uh, do I... Water? Can I... Can I... How do you... No, stop. Don't. Don't. Do I have to exchange one slime with another? I don't... Oh, okay, you... Alright. Um... This makes me uncomfortable. Please, no. Please don't. If I... If I... Okay. Okay. And... And okay? Alrighty, then. Stop. 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 Jeez. That, like, concerns me, but I guess I'll leave it. 
I built this area myself by spreading soil from the mall's blanket all over the ground just to see what would happen. I was hoping it would attract a hunter slime or two, but no such luck. Maybe I need to get some of them big mushrooms to grow here instead. They sure like to hide around in those things. Ah! Ah! Ah, because my plants seem to want to get... Uh, plants? Pfft, my slimes seem to want to come out of their corral. Or, I guess, half come out of their corral. I don't really know. I don't quite understand quantum realities like that. Like, I, I, I think I know quantum physics a little bit, but not very well. Let's get the maximum load for all these guys. Maximum load? Don't, don't say that, camera. Don't, don't say that. Don't say maximum load, okay? Let's, let's not say maximum load. Except for those number of times I just said maximum load. So, that's, that's what I'll take with. Yes! And now, I'm gonna head back to the farm. I'm gonna try to find some more heartbeats. I'm gonna sell some of these quantum plorts, and then... Sky's the limit. Hopefully get more heartbeats. I did say that, I think. I'm gonna collect all the Q-berries. Collect all the Q-berries from the trees. I'm gonna drop them off to the thingamabob. Is this Minecraft? Yes. Yes, it is. That's why these Q-berries... The, that's why these berries are shaped like cubes. As you can tell, there are some parts of this game that have not yet caught up to the fact that this game is in fact Minecraft. You would think that this is a game called Slime Rancher, and a lot of people believe that, but little do they know this is actually Minecraft in a transitional phase. This is Minecraft's primal form, and Minecraft's most primal form is in a state where the cubes have not yet formed completely. Only some areas of the game have formed into the cube-like structure that we know Minecraft to be today. Everybody knows that Minecraft evolved from a lesser game that did not have as many edges and rounded, or not so rounded corners. It's, it's just a well-known fact in the community for those who believe in, you know, or for those who uh, take the scientific route of, out of things as opposed to the, uh, the naysayers, so to speak. Such lies indeed that this game is something called Slime Rancher. See, my fiance agrees with me. That is exactly what she's agreeing to. Isn't that right, dear? No. Right? You hate this game, don't you? Because no. you hate Minecraft. Well, this one's not Minecraft. But, but, I'm inclined to believe it is Minecraft based off of studies, don't you? For a tumbler with a few gifts that show the firework, I'm taking a picture of that, and I am going to... I, I honestly do check these things out later. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Ah, and I'll check it out later. Whoops. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you for that. It looks fun. Did you check it out, Anna? Yeah. Does it look funny? Nice. Quantum Plorts! Go away. They are worth 288 right now? Oh, excuse me while I go get some more Quantum Plorts. That's a no-brainer. I gotta get some more Quantum Plorts. Maybe if I have the lemons grow... Have the lemons grown by now? Uh, they need more. Uh, get- grow faster! Sprinkler. Yeah, dude. Like that. I gotta get some more of those. 288 for those things? Hell yeah, dude! Oh, do I not have to equivalent exchange these ones? Or maybe I do. I don't know. That's pretty cool. I'll trade my mint mangoes. Speaking of which, I should go grab some more mint mangoes while those things are, uh, healing on up over there. Maybe grab more mint mangoes. Maybe grab some plorts from the boom slimes or the puddle slimes. I'm not really so sure. Nice. I don't know why that popped into my head. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, actually, I should collect these guys over here because there's some sitting on the ground. You guys seem hungry. Well, if you're hungry, well, why don't you eat? Why don't you do your eaty eats? Mmm, feed yourselves. Curb your enthusiasm with these plorts. Their price may or may not be that high. May or... Oh. Can't remember if the garden lemons are kind, but may still need to trade fruits. Well, that's okay. I've got these mint mangoes that I can give. That's okay. I wonder if there's a big old Gordo quantum slime out there somewhere. That would be awesome. I want to see that. I want to see a big old quantum dude. Just can't decide what dimension they want to stay in. Oh, there's no boo slimes over here. Oh, well, that's fine. Hmm. The trust may or may not be that high. Is that like a quantum joke? Is that like a joke on quantumness? Like, they may or may not be that high. Maybe they're cheaper. But you won't know until you sell them. Like, come on. We'll see. I look forward to seeing what it is. I got some more heartbeats over here. I'm not sure if this is enough of the Gordo's favorite fruit, but we will see. 
I look forward to seeing exactly if that is the case. Uh, what do you got over here? What are you requesting? To be high or not to be high? That is the question. I'm not allowed to smoke weed in my apartment or vape pen, so the answer is to not be high. For those who are questioning. Victor? Mochi? I promise you this is a good deal, banana peel. Yeah. Feels like a pretty good deal. Two phosphor? It's cool. I like that. Feels like a good deal. Get some rocks. Uh, get some uh, rock plorts. Gonna go see about those animals. Put those phosphor plorts in here. Uh, phosphor plorts are worth... 10 they're okay right now eventually i think i think i will be able to um, like to store like to create like storage barrels in which case i will wind up storing my plorts until the markets get to the right level at least that's if that's something that i can do i assume it's something that i can by the way apologies that i keep reaching towards my nose if for some reason like the tip the tip of my nose like right here gets very itchy sometimes and so i'm itching them uh, equivalent in exchange. Phase lemons! Phase lemons! They're phasing through time and space! And that's okay. What do we got? Nice! Alright, now I've got all these fuzz lemons. Ah, yeah! Okay, okay, alright. They, uh, I don't see any of them escaped so far. Yeah, okay, whatever, whatever. Phase lemons. Eat! Eat and be merry! Eat! Eat and be visible! Yes, happy birthday to Anna! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Anna! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> work that body? Oh, what are we doing? What's the work that body today? It's just side leg lifts. Let's do it. To the side. All right, I'm just going to be doing this awkward thing for a little while. Don't worry about me. Yes! All right, activate that. I'm going to add a little marker there because the terrifying sound of everything happening at once is just crazy. Yes, that's your present. Actually, no, the present was taking you out to dinner, and I'm pretty sure I bought you a board game the other day. Did I buy something for you the other day? What did I get? No, I did not buy anything. I'm pretty sure I did. What did I do? I definitely gave you something for your birthday. I definitely did. But I don't remember what it was. So in the meantime, my working hypothesis is, uh, is I did, and evidence has yet to show that I didn't. Or, or I suppose evidence has yet to show that I did. Anyway, uh, innocent until proven guilty. Guilty until proven innocent. I, I, I don't really know. I probably. Okay. We'll talk. We'll talk. My people will talk to your people about Hi. what you were due. You were owed something. And so I will eventually provide you that something. What could that something possibly be, Anna? I don't know. What could it possibly be? Well, I'm gonna sell 50 of these quantum plorts? Damn. Oh my god, they're up to 300 right- No, wait, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I was looking at the wrong one. Ah, time to do more side leg lifts. As so the dearest requests of me in retaliation for me not doing things properly, probably. I think I can take a break. I thought I could take a break. Oh, that actually wasn't a lot of mun months. I thought there'd be more mun months. That's okay. It's fine. Do more. More side leg lifts. Maybe I have to do them faster. No, you can do them with your legs straight. Well, I can't get my legs straight. There's not enough space over here. We realize I have a very small desk. I mean, well, I have a pretty big desk, but it's actually that's the point, right? It's a very big desk. Therefore, there is not a lot of space to do my side leg lifts. There's not enough to do what I call the dog piss, which is the side leg lifts. It's called the dog piss. Step over. I take a what step over? Yeah, but then I'm like out of the camera view. Now everybody, I can't show my feet on camera unless I did it by accident. So we can't, that's not something y'all are getting easy. Never. Eat those mangoes. Eat more mangoes. Eat more of the mangoes. And then, I don't know, eat these things. Eat, eat the heartbeats. Give me some plorts. Give me your plorts. Give me your plorts. And now I'm gonna sit back down. Hopefully. I'm eyeballing my fiance. I have to wait. Okay. Anna has realized that she can't just make me exercise all at once. Therefore, I am safe for a little bit, at least from her. And that's okay. That is a okay. Honestly, I I'm just cool want a stream that. where everyone combines their powers with me and we make you work out the entire damn stream. You know what? That would be interesting. That would be a lot of channel points, but I'm totally into it. If y'all can do it, I I believe that everyone has the I believe that everyone can do it. I have absolute full faith that everyone can come together and somehow bring about this 
this absolute torture. The absolute zone of terror. The absolute terror zone. Uh, no, what's it called? Uh, AT. Absolute terror field. That's a reference to Neon Genesis Evangelion. I saw that the other day. I saw an image of a cat. I saw, I, I found an image of a cat that had like some lens flare effect going on. And it looked as if it was like the um, ATF fields that the angels have around them in the show, in the, in the anime Evangelion. Neon Genesis Evangelion. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. And it was very, very funny. And then it, it like animated the picture of the cat such that it looked as if the cat was like shooting off a laser and it had like, you know, all demonic eyes and stuff like that. It was, it was pretty cute. Despite the, the demonicness of its eyes, it was actually incredibly cute. And I totally got the reference, so. All's well that ends well. Look at all these pogo fruits. Look at all these pogo fruits of these guys. Here, eat that. Y'all have, y'all seem like you're having a good fun. Eat the pogos. Pogo, 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 pogo. Eat. Consume. Consume. Consume your pogo fruits, and then you'll be okay. Or maybe you won't. Let's collect some of these roostros. I, I think there's some people who are, there's some, um, there's some chicons who could use a little bit of num nums. All right, I got at least one in there. Oh. Um, may maybe I should make things a little less unbearable for you, ma'am. Excuse me. I'll take all these other potential suitors away from you so as they don't overcrowd you and mess up your steez, so to speak. Let's put the hen hens in here. One, two. Nope, that's the wrong place to put... What am I doing? That's the wrong place to put the hen hens. Bah! Oh. Oh. I didn't have a port collector for you guys. Huh. Fine then. Well, y'all can hang in there and die. Have fun in there. Haha. <laughs> Pal. Buddy. Amigo. All right, are there any more beats over here? No more beats. So I think it's time to head over there. Now, I don't have carrots growing over here. However, I will be able to find carrots on my way, which is good. Um, so yeah. I should find carrots. There's carrots that are growing here that are not yet out of the ground. Oh, uh, excuse me for a moment while I tell my phone that it's not bedtime yet. My phone, I really need to turn off the setting on my phone where it like, it turns everything grayscale after a certain hour because it's bedtime. It's fucking bedtime! Another Sinatra sex party song. But then I have to like tell it like, no, it's not bedtime yet. I'm still looking at my phone and I get really disoriented when everything's in grayscale. Because I'm not used to the world being in grayscale. I am not a dog or person who are missing the effectiveness of the cones in their eyes. I think it's the cones, right? It's the cones? Cones, 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 cones. Cones are color. Rods are everything else. Nice. No, rods are light. Rods are lightness and brightness. Yeah, so like light. And contrast and stuff. Yeah. Nice. I nice, nice, nice. Too. Can confirm. The PT lady told me, ah, uh, okay, yes. I haven't done that class in like four years. Okay, I believe it. Uh, but I believe you. I trust your judgment. I trust in you. Where was I going again? Oh, I'm going to the Gordo. Which means I need to go back to the Ingo Go Wells, meaning I'm in the wrong area. Am I in the wrong area? Where do I need to be? I need to be down there, which means I need to go through the cave. Okay, I went the wrong way, but that's okay. I'll go back this way. I managed to find myself some carrots, which is good. Carrots are nummy. I do really like carrots. I think my favorite way to eat carrots probably gonna have to be like um, when they're boiled and they get all squishy. But then you, but you, then you also cook them in honey and then they get sweet. It's great. Which gordo? For there are now many. Um, one of the Rocco, the rock gordos in Indigo, Indigo Quarry. The one that's more towards the middle. I know there are two over there and I know where they both are. So that's where I'm going to head towards. Um, Oh, that's why I went the other direction. I was probably thinking about going to get the Honey Gordo, but now I'm off in this direction and I have a better idea of where this one is, so I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go. I'm just... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for it. Excellence! I love the enthusiasm. I like that. We need more... We need more enthusiasm in this world. Okay, so if I just kind of, like, awkwardly make my way over there, right? Little, slowly but carefully. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die! That's fine. That was okay. That was not death. Wasn't not, not death. So that's good. Very, very good. Very good then. 
Let's find my way over here. I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm over. Um, where? Do I need to go get on top of rock? How did I do this the last time? Uh, I was definitely somewhere over here. So, oh, I got on top of there and then something magical happened. That's probably what went down. That's how I got to the quarry. Something magical happened. Something super duper magical that led me to an area where I wasn't before, like climbing on rocks. I climbed on rocks. I definitely did that. I totally did that to get to the quarry. Oh yeah, this is what I did. I went over here. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Did I? Did I? Maybe? Uh, oh. Uh, aha. There's another ledge that, okay, I failed that ledge. Okay. I will wait then. I made like a rock hopper and took some leaps. Yeah. I would also use that statement as a way to describe what I did. Yes. I found some rocks and I was just like... Bounce, 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 bounce. And then I came over here and then... Mm, now what? And then I did a thing. Where did I want to go? I wanted to go... North. Somehow I made my way north. And it wasn't over those rocks. Was it somewhere over there? Hmm. Let me do it. Maybe I went back this way. I'm gonna go back this way. And maybe the rocks with which I- <gasps> Over there! Yes! That's where it is. I need to get to that ledge. Right over there! Rocks in the ocean. Oh, maybe. Oh, well, yes, these seem like rocks in the ocean. I mean, they're pretty big rocks. Dare I say mountains. That was it. Yep. This is what you want. Yes, and then I flew over here. Aha! I found my way back to the quarry. Why was I going to the quarry again? Oh, Gordo. Gordo. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. That is exactly what I'm looking for. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Let's go over here. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Slowly. 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 Yes. And look at those carrots down there. They're ripe for the picking. No, I wanted the... No, I wanted the... No, stop. Don't eat them yet. Nope. Here's my, my carrots. My carrots. Stop eating the carrots. No. Get, get, get. My carrots. My, 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 my carrots. No rocks left. No, no Schnemo. Detective Gordon needs latch. I need to find those Gordons. You know what? Every Gordo's name is Gordon now. I have decreed. And I'm okay with this. Because eventually, eventually, think of it this way, right? If all of the Gordos are named Gordon, and I can eventually midwife every single one of them, eventually, there will only be one Gordon left. And then after that last Gordon is midwifed, there will be no more Gordons. So I need to go this way, into that cave. Soon, my mission will be to defeat all the Gordons. My mission here is to make as little Gordon as possible. So what we'll do hello buddy hello buddy i'm going to feed you your favorite fruit feed you your favorite fruit you're gonna get really big and then that's still not enough oh my god eat more yes now give me key oh i mean that's fine that's okay they popped a bunch of rakus that's that's okay too Is there anything of use in there no don't eat the onion oh that's a oka oka no we're where did it go? Did you just eat it? Oh, you just ate it, didn't you? Oh, God. You can actually make Gordos later with research? Seriously? Nice. I can't believe that thing just ate the Oka Oka. Oh, man. I'm sure I'll find more. I, there's, I, I must be able to find more somewhere. Wow. Now I don't have any more beets. Okay, well, I got that one. Cool, cool. With the power of research, we can make as many Gordons as we want to. Eventually, we'll make all the Gordons extinct, and then we'll just bring them back just for the hell of it. Like the dinosaurs and Jurassic Park. Except this one would be Gordon Park. Da -da 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 It'd be a non-stop array of Gordons. There's more with a rad spot. Aha! Because they like veggies dippers as well. Or more Oka Okas. More Oka Okas, because I believe that is their favorite. What is... I see carrots. I spy with my little eye. Oh, those aren't carrots. Those are heartbeats. But that's fine, too. I like heartbeats. 
Odd onions are much harder to refine. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! It's a slime, Gordon! Love that. <laughs> Clever Gordon. Clever Gordon. Clever Gordon. Clever Gordon. Clever, clever Gordon. Oh my god. I really, I, I need to, I need to do that. I need to make like a little, I feel, I feel inspiration coming upon me. And the inspiration that I feel is to make some sort of short, oh, okay, okay. Oh, but I don't got space. No, 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 stay, stay. No, 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 don't shoot them towards that. Oh, I need to shoot at least one. No, no, please. I hit you all. How could you do this to me? How could, you, how could this happen to me? I made my mistake. And life goes on as I'm fading away. Get out of here, y'all. I don't like you anymore. You thieves! All you do is take, you never give. All you do is take from me. You never give. And for that, I will have my revenge. I will send you into the waters. You will never return. You killed yourself, but the vengeance is still there. You will be mine. You killed yourself too. This is now getting, oh, you did as well. No, wait, I didn't, no, I wanted to be the ones to give you the death at my hands, not, I didn't want you to, why did you follow my orders? Now I feel like a monster. I, I take, I take my headphones off in respect. I, I take, I take them off in respect for those who are crying. Hey you, hey, hey you, hey, hey you, hey you, hey, you. Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Um, hi, um, hello, oh, goodbye. That was not fun. But there's other Gordos behind the gems there, but it may not have a key either. Uh, yeah, I think that what- Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was this where one of the other Gordos were? It might have been the- I gotta put this shit back off. Hey, sorry. Excuse me? There we go. I... Hmm. A rad Gordo. <gasps> oh, yo, there you are! You like veggies? You also like veggies. I just need a bunch of veggies. What's your favorite again? You like the Oka Okas, I think. Well, now I know where you are, so I will take a picture of that on the map. Whoop! And uh, now I'm over here. Yes. Yesu. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Nice. Awesome. Well, now, what will I find? Ocus, so our plight continues, but I do got the carrots. I do, but I think I'm gonna save the carrots for the rock gordo as I make my way over and attempt to find some me heartbeats along the way, potentially. Maybe? I don't know. We shall see. Hello, all you lovelies. Yes, I'm sure you're very pretty, but you can be your pretty, pretty selves away from me. Be your pretty selves somewhere else. Somewhere where you can be your own, love. Oh look, that's something that's not a vegetable. That's cool, but not cool enough. <gasps> Vegetables! Make sure to eat your veggies, veggies, kiddos. Evil rainbows, oil slicks. Living oil slicks. Which are beautiful in their own special way. Oh, you know what? I should have gone back to that rock. When I go back, I'm gonna go back the way of that rock gordo that I unlocked because that teleporter will probably make an area unlockable. Not like that. Not going in there. Not yet. But I will collect what's behind you. Oh. Onion. Onion. But I already have onions growing. But I wonder, who likes to add onions? Who likes those? Is it you? Oka Oka. Did anybody like the odd onions? Puddle slimes don't have a favorite. Oh, that makes sense. The crystal ones. Yeah, crystals. Crystalline. Uh, can I get up there? I can totally get up there. I'm gonna get up there. Yeah. Oh, this feels... I wonder if there's secrets to be found on top of a mountain. I wonder. Can there be secrets? Can there be secrets found on top of a mountain? Have a bit over there. That seems scary. Oh, didn't want to shoot. Oh, that was a laser. Actually, what's towards this direction? Have I explored over there? I don't feel like I've been on that particular area of the map recently. Yeah, if I keep on heading in that direction, like, like over... Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Look down there. Around the bend, perhaps. If I go farther in that direction, there's this little little area over there that I don't think I've been to. And there's something over there. Ooh, there is so much to be found. But I wonder what it is. If I go along that way, it appears that I'll be able to snake there and then up. 
Ah, just around the river bend. Just around the river bend. No, probably some slimes. Or evil feral creatures. Or something or else. So if I go through here. And... Okay. That's not the direction I want to go. I want to go to the other cave. However, though, I believe... Oh, what's going on in here? That's the thing from before. I think that can take me back to the range, but hopefully I'll be able to warp back. I'm going to try that. It takes me over here, and I can indeed warp back. Perfect. Awesome. So now I can go back at will. Awesome. I didn't even need the key to get over here. I uh, can't go that way. It's Gordon's cave! Yes, with the teleporter! Teleporter of power. Teleporter power. What kind of powers? I don't know. Oh, I can't really get... It's beautiful. Look at that coming in from up there. Vibe check. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. I like that. Vibe check over. Thank you for joining me on the vibe check. Next stop on the train of calmness. Uh, tra the Tranquilla Zone. Welcome to the Tranquilla Zone. A place that is always tranquil, even when it's not. It doesn't always have to be tranquil. However, it always is. I promise. I absolutely promise. Splunking, if you will. Without the dunking. I don't know if I want to get dunked. Do I want to get dunked on underground? In the quarry? Oh, you know what? Maybe I gotta... Mm. Oh, can I go down? Oh, it appears that I can go in this direction to find what it is I'm looking for through this little cave over here. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Another onion! Nice. I can feed those. Oh, no thank you. No, okay, no thank you. Oh, Lord, no thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. Alrighty then. Can I get up there? Can I? Can I? Mm, maybe if I go around the corner. There. Hey, oh, whoa, whoa. What are we dead all about? What are you guys doing? I'm just trying to pass through. You angry little nukes. Because they're radioactive and they're explosive. Just like nukes are. Goodness gracious, y'all. Oh, I've been here. I was here before. I recall now. I recall. This is where I got angry at that one pink rad slime. Because it tricked me. Or I feel that it did. That's what I got wound out about. Gordo. Gordo. Gordo? Gordo? Wait a minute. What, what area of the map am I at? Is this a Gordo that I I'm familiar with? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And you must look back at my reference. Uh, Not that one. Not that one. Yes! Yes, I have to go upward. Upward. North. 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 Yes. You're over here in the corner somewhere. Where were you? Yes, there you are! Little scoundrel. I found you. And there's probably some more things over here. Wow, I'm finding these onions pretty pretty conveniently. Alright, I'm gonna give to you literally everything I have. I hope you will take mercy on me. Mercy? Mercy? Okay. Carrot mercy? Mercy? Mercy. Please. Have mercy. No. Onion. Onion. Oh. It's okay. Honestly, I feel that I might be able to stick around here for a little bit. Uh, or, or or maybe not. Maybe I'm not welcome here anymore. Oh, some more heartbeats. Okay, okay. What are you doing? Um please stop this madness. It has to stop. Please. It has to stop. It has to stop, my friend. This calamity that you are inflicting upon people, it doesn't have to be here. Quiver. Quiver at the side of the water. Quiver. Quiver! Quiver! Quiver. Okay. You took that like a champ there, Tar. Nice. More beats. Too many beats! Or rather, not enough. Okay, time to get back over there and see... Is this enough beats? Yes! It was just enough beats. Throw that. I don't need you. Oh, swag nuts. Come in! Come into this little thing. I like it. Good. Oko! Yes! I've gotten the oaks! Nice. I'm happy about that. Whatever, that's there. I can take some carrots. They're cool. I don't... Uh, you know, that's that's fine. And this will bring me to another part of the... Oh! 
well no key but uh, where am i now oh wow look at you look at that that's an area i haven't been to before <laughs> it was <clears throat> it was here that i knew i had to leave once again i had spent the entire day exploring trying to find my way to this island and though i spent the rest of the night walking along the shore in the soft glow of these fire flowers i caught myself looking up again and again once more i was looking at the stars i'm going to remove the pictures of the gordos that i've already found there we go nice splendid are there mo oh no i don't know what to feed you do you want a carrot over there hey you do you want a carrot eat this carrot yes no don't eat that yeah i got the gold plort i did it oh look at these fi ah, fire flowers they're literally fiery flowers can i can i put water on them nah awesome now I have a thing in the Slimepedia. Quantum Slime, the gold one. It has no favorite. The most elusive and sought after of all slime species is easily the gold slime. Very little is known about these slippery creatures as they prove it impossible to capture. Gold slimes are quick as a flash and will immediately begin to flee ranchers on sight. If a rancher is to profit from an encounter with a gold slime, they need to think quickly. Oh. Gold slimes produce no direct risks to a rancher, but their appearance often induces panic, which it did to me the first time, and leads to sometimes fatal mistakes. Further, the only way to obtain gold plorts is to strike a gold slime with any spare resource in your back. Doing so can produce a gold plort, though it also leaves a trail of additional resources in the area, leading to unintended largos, or worse. Plortonomics. Gold plorts have a little practical use or, more, or have little practical use and are the most valuable of plorts simply because they are shiny and rare. Back on Earth, the elite love to adorn themselves in jewelry made of gold plorts, far exceeding the value of any terrestrial precious metal. For this reason, a rancher should never pass up the chance to get a gold plort or two from a chance encounter with a gold slime. Nice. Gold plorts are like puddle plorts. This is actually a oh, untrue. They like a veggie you can't find yet. <gasps> Ooh, secret secrets. I like secrets. Now I got these, and I got my Oka Oka, and I got my mint mangoes, and you know, it's, I feel, I feel, this is good right now. But I can't find that little thing yet. But maybe there's something else on this little island over here that I will be able to find to increase, I don't know, the scrumptiousness of our adventures. I wonder if there's a new slime on this island. That'd be so cool. Well, I got the crystal ones. I already got some crystal ones back at home. Back at the ranch. So I'm not too worried about grabbing those, because I can always come back. I already know where to get those. But perhaps there's something more. Hello, Booms. Hello, Boom and McGoom McGee's. Boom McGee's. Boom McGoom McGoom McGee's. Bum McGee's. Hello. Treasure pod. That's cool. Thanks. Are you a... <gasps> Ooh, Crystal Gordo. Nice. Diet. Veggies. I really don't have a lot of veggies. I really can't help you. But I will mark you on my map. So this is where another Gordo lays. So many Gordos! But I can't help you right now. I really don't have a lot of them. This is why with the Gordo make you, you can quote-unquote make a gold Gordo. The benefits of popping, not sure what it is, but you can just keep it at his buddy. That's so cool! I love that. I love how we can just make Gordo. I, I love how there is a, a prospect of creating more Gordos in the future. We can create more Gordons. The Golden Gordon. The Ultimate Gordon. <laughs> there will be a way. That must be one of my goals. To create the Ultimate Gorgon. Uh, Gordon, not Gorgon. We're not evil creatures over here. Nope, okay. That's just treasure pot. That's, that's cool. Okas? Okas? Oh, you're eating Okas. I don't quite appreciate that. I don't really quite appreciate that. Can I have the Okas instead? I don't really care about you. Nope. All right, we're going to play that game. You know, why do I have these rock slimes on me? The Gorgon named Gordon. The, the the Gorgon Gordo named Gordon. Get out of here. I don't want you anymore. You just please me. More onions. Ah, uh, the Crystal Slime likes onions. Odd onions, I believe, are their favorites. So I can find more. Where'd you go? Where did that, um... Oh, he's on the other side. I'll drop back down and uh, give some of these onions to that Crystal Gordo over there. That Crystal Gordo Gordon. Gorgo Gordon. Hey, you down there. Eat this. It's good for you. Yum. Yum. Oh, come on. I guess I have to put it in your mouth. In your mouth. In your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. And then consume. Yes. The right check, the right step after consumption is to swallow. Or else your body won't be able to absorb. 
Uh, I feel like I should be able to get on top of this mountain somewhere. Bounced off the forehead. Yes, sir. Yes, indeedy. Oh, is that a Radport? Oh, there's a random Radport around here. Cool. I will use this. No, I won't. Eat that. I don't like you all. Go away. If I go to this way... Oh, there's a little... No. Maybe I can get up there. Hmm. I have a feeling. That tonight is going to be a good night. But we'll have to see. I want to go on top of there. I want to see if I can get on top of there. I feel like I can. But how? Treating Gordos like clients at a hibachi restaurant. Indeed. Just throwing the food right into their mouths. I am very proud of the fact that when we would go to hibachi restaurants, it has been a hot minute since I missed one of those shots. And I'm very good at catching things in my mouth. At least self-proclaimedly. So far, at least in the past couple of years of going to a hibachi restaurant on Christmas Day, uh, I haven't missed one. At least in that particular tradition. Eh, it doesn't seem I can get up there. I can hang here though. Nope, okay. Uh, alright. So there is a crystal gorgo. A gorgo up here. Look at that! Karoten! Nice. I'll take that. I'll take that. Give me the... No, no. You stay away. Carrots. do 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 Man, I love the, exactly those height limits. They won't let me go up. I just want to see what's beyond the world. I want to see what's in the world beyond. Oka Oka. Um, well, I technically only need two. So you or I only need one to grow them more. So you can take one of them. Uh, two of them. There you go. Have fun with that. I don't need the excess. You can have the excess. We can all share around here. Oh, what? Did, oh, more veggies. I want to suck them up before anybody else can find them. More vegetables. And then another odd onion. Oh, crabs. Okay. I'm gonna go and feed these to the big guy and then come back for that other oka. More carrots. Very good. Oh, there's plenty of... And another onion. Oh, my God. Okay, so I... Oh, now what is this? I see that there are carrots in there, but I feel like there's so much more to find than just carrots. Or or just more carrots. That's, that's cool, too. I, I also appreciate the vast abundance of carrots. This is pretty cool. Anything to find? Oh, it's just like, ah, it's just like, nice and cute. Cool. Um, red crystal friend go. Crystal friend? Crystal friend. I feel like there should be a, oh wait, I, I, uh, um, it's up there. It's up there. I need to go up there to find crystal friend. Uh, crystal friend. Get to crystal friend. How easiest way to get to crystal friend? Easiest way to get the crystal friend, probably upwards. There's a little volcano for the crystals to chill. Oh, for sure. They must love the heat. The light and the heat. Oh, look at this. I could fall down if I wanted to, but I don't really want to fall down. Okay, so now that I've gotten all your carrots, I'm going to go back for those odd onions, which I know you like so much. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me twice. I know you like those odd onions. Very much so. I will go retrieve them for you if I can. They were down here. There was one down here. Oh, you ate that onion, didn't you? Ah. Unfortunate. Stop. Oh, look at this. More okas. That's fine. I like that. I can use those. I can use this! But maybe the other one over here, perhaps, where the oka go? Onion. Onion, onion, onion. Oh, and there's more carrots over there. Sweet! I'm gonna go up and give Crystal Friend what I have so far. Oh, box. Box of what? Box of things? Carrots. And other materials. Go, run. Alright, alright. Here, you look dangerous, so... Bye -bye. Fly! Odd onion. Okay. Uh, two okas. I can go down and grab some more carrots. On the bright side, like, all the veggies around here are growing pretty rapidly, so I can just kind of stick around here until... I have enough for it. Yeah, look at that. The, the carrots themselves have already regenerated. And there's even more carrots. That's great. It's just an island of stuff. Oh, what is that, actually? Wait a minute. Did I get it? Oh, I think I did. Hmm. -doo. Popping out of the ground. Cute little, cute little, cute little slimes. Cute little very slimes. I like that. Any more vegetables that have popped up? I always appreciate more vegetables. Vegetables are good for you. Especially those honey-glazed carrots. Oh, I could really go for some honey-glazed carrots. 
That sounds delicious right about now. I would totally, I'm totally into that. Oh, wait, more carrots. Mmm. Mm. More carrots. More treasure pods, which I don't know what to do with. I've got more treasure pods that I even know what to do with. And that's all of them. Every single one. Oh, okay. I can't pop the carrots out of you just yet. Perhaps there's more vegetables over here. In this little area, which I feel like I haven't paid enough attention to. Hey, look, carrots. Looks like I wasn't paying enough attention. But where were the other ones? Are there more? Could there possibly be more vegetables? Yes. Oh, just kidding. That vegetable was dead. There's more okas over here, but they're not really useful to me right now. So I'm okay with just letting them be. Crystal friend, I've come back for no more num-nums. Are you perhaps finished to completion? Are you almost com are you almost to that point where you could just I don't know. Yes, it appears so. Crystal so Oh my good. Oh. Oh, it's What is this? A key. Yes, which means I can now go to the other side of the... Wait a minute, what was that? What was that? What is this? Is that a pogo? Jellystone? Jellystone? And what is... Strange diamond? Oh my god, cat! Cat! You need meat! I did not have meat to give you. Interesting. Okay. What are, what are these... Th Buzzwax? Strange diamond? Yeah, I missed that lucky slime. Oh, what is this? Jellystone? Did I get anything in my slime PD about that? Resources? Jellystone? Jellystone? Jellystone! It's both solid and squishy at the same time. A slime science material. Jellystone is a common resource obtained with a drill. Oh! Oh, okay. So these are different ingredients that I can take back with me. I think one of the items that I'm thinking of is something that can actually bring about and give those things from the ground. So I don't necessarily need to collect them here, but that gives me an idea of what it is. So I'll throw this off in the distance just so I have Slimepedia entries. Very strange, but even more valuable. I'll take that one back with me. Buzzwax. I'm going to take the Strange Diamond back with me. Um, not sure what I can do with it. However, I feel like that is probably the most rare ingredient that I found around here. I'll try not to take too much damage as I make my way out. I have this key now, so I'm going to go back to um, the previous area. I'm gonna drop some things off at home. I'm gonna get these okas, uh, okas are growing. And then I will go to the temple. Diamond's a good keep. I'll keep that one. That seems to be like the, mo the, the most advantageous one to keep. Awesome, 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 awesome. Let's see now, where was the other teleporter? I don't remember where the other teleporter was. Where were you? Where was the other teleporter? This was over here by the Gordo, but the other one was... I believe it was around this corner, perhaps? Maybe. Maybe it was around this corner. Not sure if they can despawn, so maybe I can grab them later. I certainly hope I can. Are these Okas? Okas! There's more Okas! Hey, you! Hey, you, Okie Okie. Okay, where was the teleport out of here? Okay, it's that way. Oh, I, I head through here, and I will find it on the other side. Perfect! Yes. Well, hopefully, I'll, I mean, I'll eventually go back to that area over there, and I'm sure, I hope that when I do, that it will still be there. You can't just expect me to pick up three ingredients when I only have four inventory spots. Three distinct ingredients when I only have four inventory spots, and it's a new area to go to. Can't just expect that from me, dude. All right, back to the ranch. I'm going to keep the strange diamond. I'm just going to hang it over here. Nice. Uh, gold plort can sell that. Awesome! Nice, uh, smell, uh, smell. Grow some okas. Uh, let's see what you got over here. If it's a food thing, I could offer my oka if it's necessary. What do we got? Bob wants chicken! Chicken? Chickens. Chicken? Chickens? Chicken? This is, this can be obtained for you. I can obtain this for you. Let's gab all these key berries. Key berries, 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 key berries. Damn, that's a lot of uh, exactly what I think it is, and can't seem to come up with the names with phase limits. Garden. Oka. And like, I don't know. I'm just gonna kind of throw a couple of them here. Uh, let's grab all these lemons that are phasey. 
The lemons of the phase. The lemons of the phase. Phase and the fairies. Phase and the fairies. Phase and the fairies of the tree. What if instead of being phase lemons, they're phase lemons? As in, like, they are fairy fruits. Fruits of a fairy. Um, don't got no dairy. What are y'all doing up there? No, 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 no. What are you doing? You seem hungry. I understand. If you are... Oh, I understand now. Oh, okay. Let's throw all this shit in there. If they're hungry, they... No. Well, it's okay. it's okay. There's only one slime in this area, so I think it's okay. Come here, you. Come here. Everybody, 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 everywhere. Please come back in. Please come back into the corral. I'm sorry to leave you like that. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to do that. Pop you out of phase. None of y'all should be doing that. Yeah, they use your powers when they're hungry. Yeah, I probably shouldn't keep these guys hungry. Um, yeah, hey there. Come here, please. Thank you. And maybe you. You got a port out here. That's cool, too. That's awesome. Um, maybe... Nope. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Eat! Stay inside! Uh, phase lemon. Eat. Consume. Yes. So if they're happy, they stay put. They're clearly not happy right about now. I am so sorry. I didn't mean to let it get this way. It was never my intention to brag. But I've got them where I want them right now. Okay. I'm just gonna throw all the phase lemons in there. So, take. 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 Eat. Don't be angry. Okay. It seemed like you. You out there. Hey. You. Hey. Get back inside. Back inside the... There you go. Take it. Stay. And that'll take the floors. Nobody's, nobody's at risk anymore. I'm okay with this. I am totally fine with that. And then I'll collect the rest of them bullets. Um, you seem... What are you doing? Don't be... Don't be goo. Don't be gooby. Don't be gooby. Don't be gooby. Hey, what are you doing? I see you over there. Hey. Hey, come back here. Come back. No. Ah. Okay, one, two, three. Death. Oh, where'd you go? There you are. Ah. Stay. At least this farm naturally has food spawning where they get out, but yeah, yeah, can't starve. Can't starve indeed. That's at least good. Did they have food? Can't starve though. Just under I mean, that's good. That's good. Wow, 50 quantum ports. The portage is strong with this one. The portage is very strong with this one. And I am very happy with that. Cool. Now, anybody else going batshit crazy over here? I hope not. You shouldn't be. That's not what you should be doing. You should be good little slimes sitting around in only one dimension at a time. Solve those quantums. Oh, they're pretty down right now. Oh, sad. Crystals are up. Oh, what are these other ones? Those other ports I don't have access to yet. That seems prismatic. I don't know what that is. Uh, caramel? Shadow? Uh, winged? I do not know. Did kind of flood the market. I definitely flooded the market. I definitely did. I take full responsibility for that. Four chickens. One rooster. Uh, uno. Oh, I already have four. Uh, now I need one of y'all. I'm sacrificing you to Bob. Bob wants. And whatever Bob wants, Bob, Bob get. There we go. And I need two briar hens. And the briar hens may be found over here. Hello, briar hens. Oh, I somehow never discovered a briar chickadoo. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Yes, now we know yet. All this stuffs. Awesome, awesome. Heartbeats. Gotta, gotta appreciate that. Um, I will give the heartbeats to exactly who they should be going to, uh, which is y'all. So y'all should be getting your heartbeats. Uh, actually, let me collect from the, the garden first. And then... The favorite of the rad slime, I believe, was the Oka Oka. So if I wait around for the Oka Oka to fall, spawn from that tree, I can take it over to the rad slime guy. But but first, um, amber slime, honey slime, and the key to the uh, la, la, temple. To the temple. See if there's any more. I'll, I'll go feed the boomies. I'll, f I'll feed the boomies. Some hens. Um, let's get. I got a couple of biggies in here. Uh, not the Roostros. Uh, Elder Roostro. Elder... Ah, whatever. They're not. Eh. Oh, I'll feed those over to the Boom Slimes. I'm sure they'll want a couple. I'm sure they'll appreciate us any kind of meat that they've got. Here, consume. Consume meat. Consume Prilosite. 
Yes. Doesn't it taste good? Ah. He is indeed. Oh, now what the lamp was. It was a toy. Phosphors like the toy. Oh. They like the little thingamabob? I'm gonna give that to them. It wasn't like one you can craft. Oh, the lamp. The lamp that I found. The light. That lamp. Yeah. I gotta bring that lamp back eventually. I don't remember where that lamp was. It was by a portal, I think. Eventually, I'll find it, I'm sure, probably. Oh, I forgot to drop off the cube berries. You have to drop off the cube berries. Berries of cube. Berries of cube. Like the blue is a yarn for the small tap. Yarn ball tabby slimes love. Yeah, I gave that to the tabby slimes, I think, actually. I think I actually did that. I think I was. I think I caught it on that one. I caught the point of what it was supposed to do. And I think I have the yarn currently at the tabby slime. Oh, you know, I guess each slime has a type of toy that they really enjoy. That's cool. I have a beach ball, too, and I'm not exactly sure who that's supposed to go to. Oh, you know what? The beach ball totally goes for the puddle slimes. I bet. I bet. I bet that goes to the puddle slime. Currently, the yarn is with the these guys. The beach ball's over there. I, I gotta rearrange that. Oh, my God. I have to rearrange the toys. They got favorite toys, and I didn't even know about it. That just that never clicked. Nice. That's pink. Puddlies love ducky. <gasps> that makes total sense. That makes absolute sense. Let's see. Okay, so that's what I will do. I will go over here. I will give beach ball. Beach ball to... I mean, you're not... Y'all aren't technically pink, but you can play with the ball. Um, Give me... Nope, not the honey. Honey, honey, honey. Uh, And then give ball. Give ball? Give ball. Ball to... Heavy snacks. Eat. Yum. Happy? Happy you like? Happy you like? Ducky lets you have five puddles instead of the max of four. I think normally the max is three. However, I believe that the upgrade to five is doable with the with the ducky. I would assume. I believe. I believe that. Heartbeat to the rock boys. Large Largos love both toys. Nice. Oh, that makes sense. Nice. So I guess they will like that. I wonder what the... <laughs> oh, they look so happy around the ball. Even though you're kind of invisible. I like that. I'm imagining... For some reason, I'm imagining the hunter slime's favorite one to be like, uh, like a knife. I don't know, because they hunt and knives are deadly. Or at least they can be. I don't, I don't know why these thoughts are in my head. They're very dangerous thoughts. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna collect the water plorts, because I think they've been building up, right? Oh, no, you're just kind of sitting there. Alright, you're just chilling. It's fine. It's fine, dudes. Yeah, it's fine. Slime holding a knife. Slime holding a knife. You never know. I could, I'd be afraid. These are as many mint mangoes as I can hold. So I am going to bring them, hopefully, to find the honey slime in the jungle. I will make my way to the honey slime in the jungle. I will give them the mint mangoes. And then after I find the honey slime in the jungle and give them the mint mangoes, I will go to the temple and do things from there. That's the next step in the process. Throw all those things in there. Absolutely saturate the market. Gotta love saturating the market. Could I be getting more bang for my buck? Absolutely. You're damn right I could be, but eh, who's got the time for that? I'm also going to try to get more phase lemons from over here and stock up that stockpile because I don't really want them guys getting all over the place. More phase lemon. And I'll give them to you all. We all aren't going crazy, right? Damn well shouldn't be. A couple of ports over here. Oh, did I miss some ports? Oh, I guess I did. I'll take those. Yeah, I'll take some of those ports, dude. No problem, dude. And I'll fly on through. Zoom. Zoomity zoom zoom zoom. Oh, yeah, please. What are you doing? No. Oh, come on, dude. How'd you do that? How'd you, how'd you, why'd you do that? Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Stop! I left three, then got full. Oh. Oops! Oh well. Well, you know what? They're not bothering any of those slimes right now. I'll let it happen. 
Hopefully this is a big enough area over here, a big enough curve that they won't be able to get over to all my other slimes over here. Not that it would really be a problem, I suppose, because all the other slimes are in where they need to be. But alas. Take some cube berries. I will send them back over to the other Phosphor of Lulfords. And there is a Hunter Plort here, which is lovely. What do you got? What do you got over here? What's up? What's up? Mochi or Victor? Victor? Victor, what do you got? Are rat slimes a natural evolution or result of exposure to food? You already asked that question. What do you want? Quantum and Amber. All right. Well, I'll talk to you about that. Plorts are the same types are harmless. This is true. This is true. I'll give you that. And in exchange, I get those. I mean, uh, I, you know what? That's not really a worthy exchange for me right now. Until next time, Miles. Or no, you were Humphrey. Whatever your name was. If that's even your real name. I've deposited all my cube batteries. Uh, I'm satisfied. And uh, deposit the quantum plorts and continue on the adventure. All honeys are named Amber, so is the Largo Amber Gordon? Yes. I'm inclined to agree with that statement. I cannot wait to find Amber Gordon. Or, or maybe Amber Gordon? Maybe Gordon Amber. Amber sounds more like a last name to me for some reason than a, than a, than a first name. Like, Gordon feels more first. Like, I know they can both be first and last names, but I feel like Gordon feels like a more first name, and Amber feels like a more last name. I don't know if that's making sense, if, if, it's, if it's making any sense to anybody else. That's kind of how I feel. That's how, that's, how, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. Let's make our way to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. We've got fun and games. We can get anything you want, but we know the names we are the people that can find whatever you might need. Uh, you can chase the bright lights, but you won't get them for free in the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Feel my, 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 my serpentine. Ooh, I'm gonna watch you bleed. I know that song too well. It's weird to remember. Officer Gordon is a surname case, while Gordon Freeman is a first name. Oh, interesting. This is true. Gordon Freeman's Half-Life, right? Never actually played the Half-Life game. It's on, or it's what I want to be. It will eventually be on my list of games to accomplish because I am curious about what it's like. Gotta, 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 gotta. I don't know who Officer Gordon is, though. That's a reference that I don't quite get immediately. I know a person named Gordon. That's about as close as I can get. All right, let's try to go to the jungle. Try to find this amber slime. If I make my way over towards the other way, that's the thing. Oh no, no, I gotta go up that way. I gotta go up this way. Amber slime. So I believe, if I recall correctly, the amber slime is somewhere. Uh, the amber Gordon is somewhere on top of some plateau in the jungle. Batman's police friend, father of Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, a.k.a. Oracle. Ah, okay. I'm not super... I, I'll admit, I am not super familiar with the DC Universe, so that's probably why I didn't get that one. But thank you for catching me up to speed on that. And now I know who Officer Gordon is. Or at least vaguely. I will now vaguely have a reference in my mind as to who or whom Officer Gordon may or may not be in some particular universe. All right, Amber... Where might you be? My dear Amber. My dear Amber. The chance you are up on one of these plateaus over here. There are many plateaus to be a part of. Over here. I love this little, these little areas. Hmm. Down there. Oh, that's, that's beautiful down there. The little flowing plants. They're purple. That's a beautiful color. I think you can see the plateau on the map too. It's not too deep in the woods. Oh, 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 maybe, hmm, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That feels pretty plateau-y. Feels pretty, that feels pretty plateau. I'll be honest, I, I'm getting plateau vibes from that. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a plateau coming on. Okay, this feels pretty, y'all are fallen. Absolute fallen, fallen from the deep. Maybe it's over here. Oh my god, whoa, I don't think I've ever actually seen y'all pick it up. Lots of flowers because, like, honey, 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 indeed. Oh, 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 oh. Perhaps those flowers because of the presence of a honey slime. Maybe. There's a little home marker over there. Now, I don't know if that means it's going to send me back to the far, the, the, the ranch or 
if I can actually go back interchangeably. Not so sure. Hey, look, flowers. Or what I assume to be flowers. Did I? I wonder if I already got the honey gor uh, the honey gorno. I really hope I didn't. Hmm, I see plateaus. Plateaus as far as the eye can see. Uh, oh, hello you. No, this, oh, that felt plateau-y for a hot second. Hmm. That's a little thing over there. I see a big old tree over there. If I go over to over here, um, da, 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 da. what could be over there? I wonder why. This also feels very plateau-y. I feel like I'm getting closer. This feels not very plateau-y, but there could be something underneath. No, no, Slima is up a dare. Unless, what if I climb my way up here? Hmm, this is kind of far. A spot, baby. There's a spot with a big tree in the middle. Oh. I think it's that one. I think it's that one. I think I need to go down south. Where's down south? That's the other, the, back that way. Okay. I see. It's like that little, um, what's the, uh, it's, there's, a, there's a word. There's a word for a type of island structure that is only attached by like a single landmass. Isthmus? Isthmus. Right? Yeah, I think it's an isthmus. Like that thing down there is attached. Actually, it's not even attached by land at all. Peninsula? Peninsula. It's like, it's connected by a bridge, so I guess it's considered an island, but like, if there was a little slice of land that connected to it, peninsula. Yeah, peninsula. That's, that's the one. That's the one I'm thinking of. I don't remember what it, what's an isthmus? I think isthmus is something like, I think that relates more to a type of body of water, like a flowing river. It can be an isthmus. Oh yeah, it's definitely over here. Okay. Bounce, bounce on over here. Yeah, this feels right. This feels very right. Oh, look, a bunch of flowers. Oh. Oh. Well, mushrooms. Not flowers, just mushrooms. But where might the Gordo be? Where might Amber Gordon be if I haven't already taken you to Midwife Town? That's... Yeah. I'm gonna take you to Midwife Town. Bunch of flowers and mushrooms. Maybe you're up there. Maybe you're over here. Oh, I got a hunter slime. Actual hunter slime. Hey, I got you. Nice. Still that hunter turf. I gotta find the peninsula where the big old tree is. Oh, baby. Oh, still too deep for the honey. Maybe. Oh, hello, phosphorus. Oh, is there a little? There's a little. Oh. Hmm. That looks foreboding. Almost foreboding enough to be a place where treasures may be hold. Oh, tree! 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 Tree? Now. Where might the honey be? Honey, honey bee. Honey, honey, honey bee. This feels, this feels close. Oh, there you are, my love. Sitting around over there in the corner. I'll get you like. It's not sketch. I just live here. Eat. Eat your mangoes. Yes. Consume these mint parcels that contain seeds upon the inside. And give to me your key. Yes. Thank you very much for your assistance on uh, helping me to find that thing. Why did I fill a box? I don't know why I did that. Anyway, honey plort. Not only got like these things. I don't need honey slimes. I don't need them. I uh, technically don't need the hunter slime either, so I'm gonna let you go. Got the slime pedia thing. <laughs> Sits surrounded by flowers in the morning sun. Super sketchy. Extremely sketchy. Where'd all these flowers come from, sir? I don't know. Are you gonna explain where all these flowers came from? I'm not sure how they got here. You're gonna tell us. You're gonna tell us now. You're gonna tell us now how you got these flowers here. I'm not sure if I can, officer. I really don't know. But you're welcome to stick around and pick a couple. More will pop up eventually. I imagine a large Amber Gordon would have wanted it that way. Large Amber Gordon. All Amber Gordon wanted to do was spread the flowers to the people. The people wanted flowers. And so Amber Gordon was more than happy to provide. 
the spirit of Amber Gordon lives on. Now I got two keys, which is wonderful. That's much farther than I was earlier. Uh, this is where I want to be. Yes? Yes? Yes! Indeed! Come on over here, into the temple, get all the way to the end, and yeah, let's do that again. On to the other end of the temple. And I believe there was a boom slime in here, so I'm going to be on the lookout for meats and cheeses. But mostly meats. And not as much cheese. Oh, okay. Hold on. Press that button. Open these up. There must be meat. Hello, quantum slimes. Goodbye, quantum slimes. There must be meat. Also, an isthmus is a narrow strip of land with water on both sides that connects two larger bodies of land. Ah, okay. That's the isthmus. Water on both sides. Oh! Like, um... Uh, the Bering Strait Bridge. The Bering Strait Bridge? The Bering Strait Bridge. Like, the one that used to connect, uh, La Russia and Alaska. That, I think, is considered an isthmus. Yes! I believe I've got my mind in the right place now. If I'm- if I'm thinking correctly. Oh, can you please break blocks? Break blocks. Plasma lemon. Phase of lemon. Yeah. Learning is fun. We are always learning. One of my favorite things about doing this Twitch thing is the fact that people will come on, ideas will pop up, and eventually we will all learn something. And I think that is one of my favorite parts of this Twitch streaming thing. I can, I can, I like, I'm thinking of so many things that I wound up learning about, both about the games that I wind up playing and other things in the world around me that I just would have never known about if not for the fact that somebody who happened to be passing through was like, hey, by the way, or, oh, did you know? Oh my god, look at this! They're bringing the fruits over and putting them in a pile. Aww. Nelly neck cute. That's very cute. I appreciate the cuteness. Chicken. Yum. I'm sorry, not chicken. Hen hen. Hen hen. Now I turn that on. Hen hen? No, no, no. Not hey hey. Hen hen. Hey hey means chicken. Hey hey means chicken? Well, hen hen also means chicken twice. I didn't know that. I've learned something new today. Hey, hey, in the Polynesian language, means chicken. I didn't know that. Chicken named chicken. There's been a boom gordo around here in a spot that's a weird, like, risky, risky glide, but so many nooks look the same. I did see that one boom with, that was in a little nook. Uh, I don't remember where the nook was. Oh! Speaking of the devil, I found the little nook. Um, but there, I need more... I need more meats. I need more cheeses and meats to provide to the big boom god. And require more cheeses and meat. What the hell is this thing? Oh, that was the thing. Big red boom devil is what they call. That's what they call me. Big red boom devil. Anything crawling down there? Anything worth feeding to the boom devil? Oh, hello you. You no no eat them. No oh you ate him. You son of a. I can't believe it. You son of a big blubbery pink thing. Curse you. Curses you. Curse you, I say. I consider you cursed. The most cursed of all. Um. I love how there's a bunch of tabby slimes around here, and I know they eat meat as well, but there's not a lot of meat things to eat. Where am I headed? I'm heading back that way. Well, I don't want to do that. I want to head over this way to an area that seems more dangerous. Danger is my middle name. If danger were spelled J A M E S, I just noticed. I usually don't spell my middle name very often. That felt really awkward to spell out for some reason. Like my first and last name, I spell literally all the time, but I don't usually like audibly spell out my middle name. I guess it's because I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, somehow it feels so weird to spell. Perhaps the pink and the tabbies are there. There's not much more meat around. Oh, maybe that's why the tabbies are here. There's not a lot of meat because they ate all the meat and took it away from the rest of us. Me. Thieves. Can't believe they would do this. I can't believe you would do this. Take all my meat from... Meat. 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 Is there more meat? I sense there's more. My meat senses are tingling. There must be more. There must be something more. Oh, do I see? Oh, there was not meat down there. Just slimes. 
must consume other living substance. Um, what'd you say, dear? I can consume if I want to. You're absolutely right. Mmm. Ah, that was good. I haven't had a nice consumption in a while, so I appreciate that. Thank you. By the way, dearest, did you know that if you ever wanted to help me out with my channel point redemptions, you have access to that on our mod view? Oh, yeah? Oh, nice, nice. That'd be that'd be cool if uh like like if you suggest to me to consume and you watch me take a big old gulp of that water bottle you can like you can like press the switch you know yeah, I feel like it'd be, it'd be easy it make these easier then I hope then I don't have to do that thing where like I I take this hand and I put it over on the other computer that'd be so awkward you know it just takes so much work and I'm already doing so much work streaming talking takes a lot out of me what am I wanting to right now. What am I looking for currently? I, uh, I'm making my, I'm trying to look for meats so I can get to that boom slime. Uh, but mostly I'm getting to, uh, on my way to the boom slime, uh, to the power of the boom slime. I am attempting to get to the top, to the front of the temple, which I've gotten to before, but uh, I'm glad I haven't had tuberculosis much. Consumption of the water. Consumption. Oh, jeez. Rustro eats more hen. This is all the meat I had to offer you, big guy, so you're gonna have to take it. Oh, look, a box. Perhaps there's meat in the box? There was no meat in the box. And it seems that I cannot escape. Oh, I can't do that until I... I see. I have to get rid of the Gordo so I can flick that switch so I can go through the portal thing at the top. I understand. I understand. You know what, speaking of which, the other day... Anna and Anna and why? Uh, excuse me. Anna and I watched the newest Demon Slayer movie, uh, Mugen Train, Infinity Train, which it was it was okay. Honestly, I I, I had a couple of comments about it, uh, but it was okay. It just kind of felt like a couple of episodes. I liked it. It, it was good, but I feel like I, it wasn't like the most favorite thing I ever watched. I love the show Demon Slayer. But I, I love that I hate it at the same time. Like, there are some parts of Demon Slayer that I absolutely love. It feels like I'm watching poetry on a screen, and there are other parts where I'm just like, oh, this is just kind of annoying. The characters here are annoying. But other times, I'm just like, this is beautiful. But so we watched Mugen Train, and th this is not really a spoiler, but there is a character who, for some reason, they explicitly mention has tuberculosis. Yeah, that was really that was like, like really, really weird. Like they explode. Ah, oh, stupid pink slime. You ate the, 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 the meats. But like one of the characters explicitly says to the other characters, just like, don't think just because you have tuberculosis that you get to slack off. And I was just like, wow, that was that you can get out of this like, right that was, that was, um, that was direct. All right. Un unfortunate. And I think, like, there, there's a reason that they mention that, and the reason they mention that is to do with, like, the reason that the character has that. It's a, it's a part of the motive. Oh, my God, look at all this meat. Hi there, meats. I'm going to suck you all up and feed you to the god, to your god. Who's your god now? The Boom Gordon. That's what will be your god. And I'll each introduce you to that god. Gordon's a very nice fellow. The, the Mugen Train, was, it was adapting a manga story arc, so hope anime watchers who skipped this film didn't miss anything too vital. That's what I thought about. I was like, if people don't watch the movie, are they missing a lot of plot? And to be honest, I'd say the answer is no. I, I don't think they're missing yes, a lot. There's like, there's like, there's a couple of small plot, there's a couple of plot points that I think are important that you find in the movie. However, I don't think it's major enough to warrant something something like that like i feel like you could skip it so i could tell you i feel like three things and you'd pretty much be caught up and and when i mean by caught up is if i mention these three things it'll answer questions that you have if you were to skip to the next episode not that i would know i there is currently no other uh next episode out for at least for the dub uh for season two of demon slayer so i wouldn't be able to tell you exactly like what the reaction would be but I imagine the manga arc already goes forth, so... Um, yeah, maybe it was to try and further the time period and the fatality of it. Yeah, I think so. I feel... I don't know. Like... And I really... It's it's kind of it's kind of new, at least on the dub scene, so I don't want to say anything spoiler-esque about it, but there was a particular character who, like... 
I didn't know that I wanted to see a lot of. I, like, I didn't really know that I wanted to know more about them, and I'm glad that I, I'm glad that I do know more about them now. However, like, it wasn't really, it wasn't really necessary, I don't think. Um, but it was a nice, it was a nice story. I really enjoyed it. It was a, a nice thing. About halfway through the movie, we were like, uh-uh, no way. That cannot possibly be the movie. And then other shit started happening. You were like, I knew it. I knew that couldn't have been it. No more chickens down there? There's one uh, more chicken down there. It says it's going to be released in this year, but they haven't confirmed the date. What, uh, released the second season of, uh, yeah. Demon Slayer? Cool. I don't know about the double. Oh, well, it's okay. I'm sure the double will come eventually. If, I, I, for one, I, for one, am the type of person who enjoys mostly watching the dubs, and that's because I am usually attempting to do other things at the same time, and... I have not been able to train myself to read and do other things at the same time. That is a talent that I don't yet have acquired. Yes, I feel like most people cannot do that. Then again, I am not most people and cannot speak on behalf of most of them. So, but that is that is my current state. My current state is I really can't read, pay attention, and also do something else at the same time. Like, I even had a hard time, like, when I was watching, when we were watching Mugen Train, Toward the latter half of it ending, I was printing something out for a buddy of mine. I'd mentioned him. His name's Lycos Lore. He does YouTube. Great guy. Great guy, let me tell you. But I was printing something out for him, uh, Warhammer-esque. He wanted some uh, things printed for his uh, for his Warhammer games. And so after it got printed, it only took about a ha um, like 45 minutes to print. But so afterwards, I was kind of doing a little bit of taking all the supports off of it, giving a little sanding it down. And I honestly had a little bit of trouble paying attention to the movie while also um, while also sanding that thing down. Because like my eyes were, I can listen to a show, um, but I feel like I get a lot more out of it when I'm actually like paying attention to the words that are being said. Which I feel like that, I feel like that would apply most to mo uh, more to most people if I had to be so bold in making that such an assumption. Um, but so, you know, something like that. But I gotta have, like, what I mean by multitasking something like that is if I'm watching a dub, I can at least listen to it and pay attention to the story while also doing something else in the background, such as, mm, like, sanding down a piece of, piece of whatever, a piece of, uh, something that was printed. Oh, this is cute up here, I guess. This little area gets released for what purpose? What is the purpose? I know not the purpose. I'm gonna try to get up there. Can I get up there? Yeah, almost. Okay, there's a little red phosphor up here. A little, little thing of a... Oh, treasure. Treasure pod. Of course, it's a treasure pod. It's always a treasure pod. It's gotta be a treasure pod, right? It has to be a treasure pod. Things I still cannot open. I, I feel maybe at the end of the temple is the secret to unlocking these treasure pods. Oh, are you any meats up here? Any meat? Uh, no meat, it seems. Quantum slime. They like it a fruit. They like it a fruit. I gotta, I gotta give it a fruit for you. Oh, hello. I don't think I've re read you before. The ghostly phase lemon trees that you may have seen were a real hard sc head scratcher for me for the longest time. I kept dreaming about an ice cold glass of lemonade on the long summer days I spent exploring these ruins. Delicious stuff, let me tell you, but here's the trick. If you want those lemons, you gotta be willing to part with a fruit of your own. So why don't you give it a shot? And that's indeed what I wound up doing, giving it a shot of my own. And we've managed to figure out through the power of teamwork. Through the power of teamwork, anything's possible. Indeed. Okay, uh, I don't see any creatures of meat down there, so I am not going to attempt to go down there. Like, they exist to reward exploring the small details, but the locked on, oh, the pods, the locked on your tour. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. I don't know, I'm just like, I'm just really deeply annoyed about the fact that there are so many of these pods that I have found. And I cannot open any one of them yet because of whatever reason. Because I don't have like I, there's still a point where I need to get to to be able to open them. And I'm sure I'm I'm sure I am very close to unlocking it, or there's something that's like right under my nose to do so. And and I'll ask for that not to be revealed, because I kind of want to figure out that one myself. I feel like it's it's just something that will happen naturally, and when it does happen, I'll be like, all right, sweet, like an upgrade that I don't yet know about. That's what I think it probably is. That's my current working hypothesis, and I'd like to see that one through to the end if that's all possible. But let's go to this boom slide. I hope maybe I have been able to give enough to the boom. Probably not, actually. Uh, probably since, like, um, I know their favorites are the Briar Hens. 
And I do not have any briar things right now. So, oh, did I miss a chicken? Oh, I missed you guys. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me a chicken. Yeah, I'm missing those briar ones. So, oh, don't remember how to get them anyways. Perfect. Then things will continue hap to happen as wonderfully as I expect them to. Stony hen, one, two, three. Rooster, one, and then hen, 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 hen. Of course you want more, you big old glutton. You always want more. Always wanting a little bit more. A little bit more for my friend, the, the slide. All right, well, I think it's time to try to get to that locked door. I've spent long enough trying to find pieces of meat to feed to the, to the big old lad. I think it's the time to do so. Let's boogie. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Till I just can't boogie no more. Oh, yes. Boogie no more. Boogie. Oh, look. Another treasure pod. Love to see it happen. We just love to see it. Love to see that happen. All right. Moving right along. Moving right along. On to the entrance somewhere over there. Yes. Gotta go this way. And then I gotta go this way. And then very, very shortly, I'll find my way to the edge. The doors. Honestly, I think the the part of this game that I have struggled the most on is honestly finding the, the Gordos. Like, finding the Gordos is a little little tough. Because the fact of the matter is you have, to, you have to find the Gordos, you have to fill them up with the stuffs, and then you also have to make sure that you... Oh, look, more meat. You know, I'll just collect those. Yeah. Then you have to have... Uh, yes, you need to remember where they are. You need to remember how to bring the food that they want with you. It's just, you know, it's a little, little toughy. A little toughy. All right, let's unlock this door. Open the door, get on the floor. Now let's walk. Dinosaur. Slime key. Rubble will see you on the other side. Open sesame. What lies on the other side? I'm guessing a giant laser beam. Or an atrium. Atrium is an acceptable answer as well. Ooh, the atrium. I'm going to bed. Oh, good night, dearest. Oh, more ports to be found. Oh, they're all. Oh, they need quantum slot. They need quantum ports. All right, I guess I'm gonna go get some quantum ports. What time is it? Oh, it's like twelve o'clock. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm gonna see. I think I'm going to try to see what I can find at the end of this laser thing over there. And I think that might be I think that might be a good stopping point after determining putting all the plorts in their place. After putting all the plorts in their place, I think that would be a good stopping point. Uh, but we'll see first. I need to make sure that I actually do that first. Okay. Uh you look happy. So No, no, no. Oh, I ran out. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Hey, uh want to want to put one one I like it, eh? I like this. I like this. I like that. Eat that. Mm. Well, I got the quantum slime, so that's cool. Uh, you want this? Eat it, eat this. Take it, take it that. Mmm, tasty. Quantum. Hello, y'all. Just, just eat some mangoes. I'm not giving them to anybody else anyway. Here you go. And, uh, here you go. And, uh, here you go. Eat that. It's good for you. And you want some plots? I give you plots. You want some mango? I can give you mango. We got plenty of mangoes around here. You want the mango? Eat the mango. Ah, yes, you like it, the mango. Oh, the puddle, the puddle guy. Puddle slime is shy. Eat a mango? You want a mango? Eat mango? Mm. I require the consumption of the mangoes. All right, let's take that back. Taking it back now, y'all. How many statues were there? I believe there were five. But I got eight just in case I need extra. And if I truly need extra, oh, I almost fell right in there because I thought it was a place that I could go to. Bup -bup 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 -bup. Come on over here, go over there, blast my way across, and then I'll take a run. Yeah, I believe there are five, but we'll see. With the power of the qu so this is a structure that I assume harnesses the power of the quantum plot, and then I don't know, it does something crazy. So this feels exciting. I feel like this is going to be something. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like there's five. Let's see. Maybe I have to deposit five quantum ports every single time I use this. Alright. Or maybe there's a boss. Final boss? Yo. Okay. Now, what is happening? 
I will not. What is this? Oh, shit. Smoke, fire, and mirrors. Glass desert. Under a blistering sun, prismatic giants evoke... Ah, oh, that's the area that's off the map. Nice. Oh my god, I love that. You know what? That seems good. I am going to take a small look around this new world. Just to get a tidbit of information. Just to get a just to get a slice of what there is out there. I want to meet one new slime. That's all I want to do. And as soon as I meet that new slime, I will call it an evening. I want to make a new friend. New friend? Hello? New friend? Oh, hello! Anybody around here somewhere? New friend? Please? Glass desert. Well, this is pretty cool. Oh, there's something over there. That looks shiny. Something just popped out from behind me. What is this? What? What is this? <gasps> it's a whirly slime! Can I water you? Can I, can I do something with you? Energy blast? It's a whirly slime. What are you? Sand slime? Dervish. <laughs> it's a dervish. Are you in there? Are you in there? I feel like, are you in there? Oh my God. They're whirly gigs. I don't, that's so cool. Oh my God, you're so cool. Dervish. I like that. Oh my God, are you a slime? No, you're not a slime. But what if I water you? What are you? Can I feed you a mango? Oh, this is so cool. Oh, hello. Oh, I can stick things on it. Oh. Interesting. Beyblade slimes. Yeah. Okay. This, that's what I promised myself. I promised myself that I will find a new friend. And I have found myself the dervish slime. So now what I will do is I will kind of... I'll, uh, I'll take it back here. I will, I will leave it off here. This was very, very fun. I've discovered new- I've got the teleport to a new land. I knew there was a secret to that temple. And a fresh adventure for next time. You are absolutely right. One thing I want to check before I sign off is what in the world these guys eat. Dervish slimes. Twists and turns all day and spirals all night. They like the prickle pear. Which I'm guessing comes for that cactus. And that seems like the perfect place. As we say hello and goodbye to a new friend of ours. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for coming along. It's been a blast. That's the end for today. Special thanks to Lorelei, who was a wonderful source of inspiration, information, and just all around good chatting times. Next time, it seems that we'll be exploring the Glass Desert, which I'm sure will be a wonderful, weather, wonderful new adventure. Um, now... Let's see who I'm going to send people to as well. There's a guy I know who does cocktails on the internet, and he's streaming right now. And I'm not sure if he'll notice. Not that I care he will, but I'm going to set up the raid to go to him. We got a couple of people around here, too. And if you're interested in cocktail recipes, I would recommend sticking around. To all those are head who are heading off, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. If it's Eastern Standard Time where you are, because it is easy to be over here for me, which is a lovely, lovely thing. Peace out to you, Raiders. And to everybody else, uh, I will be back again on Friday to rain in the weekend, as well as playing on Saturday. It takes two with my lovely fiance as well. Anyway, peace out, everybody. I will see you next time. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, day, night, twilight, dawn, you know, the other thing. Party on, fellows. Bye-bye.